Hey, yo, it's me, Pops Fan Marmalade, and you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. Streamer just ain't doing shit. So come get Holy some. Holy crap. Cromcon. Cromcon. What is Path of the Pale Rider anyway? Is it a comic book? No, that's not it. Is it this? What the heck is Path of the Pale Rider, man? There's no way this is right. How about this? I have no idea. Ah. We're going to rob a bank. Oh, it's there. Fairview's coffee has mysteriously gone missing. Mayhem ensues when strange, coffee-craving zombies plague the city. Detective Mickey Potatoes, an overworked public servant, uncovers why ordinary citizens are losing their minds and how to stop the coffee apocalypse. But it involves the Mafia. And when you're dealing with Mafia crime families, nothing is ever easy. The Mafia controls everything in the city, including the police, including him. If he breaks the Mafia, they will break him. So, the city is without coffee. The city is burning before his very eyes, but he's powerless. Detective Potatoes has the power to stop the coffee apocalypse. But if he does, he could lose everything.
wish I could find a way to better advertise Apothic Press. Just back it up, man. Whoa, Crom, what are you doing here? What's this? The Madness Roku Network. Sponsorship. One month of playing your 30 second ad on the network. Three times a day. Oh my gosh, for $20? And you can't beat that. All right, all right, Crom, I'm doing it. Awesome. Hi, I'm Tanner Hurley, founder of Apothic Press. I back the madness Roku Network, and so should you. What's up? What's going on? Oh, let me get that banner out the way so you can see all these smiling non faces. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Happy all right, I, gotta, I had to actually turn roll 20 off. Eh? To, to play all that smoothly because StreamYard and roll 20 just don't want to work together. But. Uh, yeah. Probably, yep. Yeah. Okay, get my back up in here and get back in the game again. There we go. Ah, uh, somewhere here. Spread all over the place. We got some people up in that room. We got some people over here in this room. We got some people all over the place. We were mourning the death of our bird friend Hermes. Yeah, I'm trying to change his yeah. token, but mm. it's not letting me do that. Been, oh, my mic's working now, right? Can you hear yeah. me? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I, it's I, I, the, uh, the morning finally hit me. I was like, wait a minute, he's dead forever? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come all this way, get knocked out at the, the final step of the journey. Sounds about right. Yeah. I thought for Where sure I was be the first to die, though. <coughs> be me. I mean, when you're going to play what's in the box, it never ends well. <laughs> I was in the box. That's what I'm saying. I, uh, I am the man in the Where box. Where did they put the change of the, the, the token? Jeff, do you know? Box. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I've never run this from a DM side. I've always been a player on Roll Twenty. I can't find it. What's in the box? Well, if that's it, I can see it. If that's it, it's it just no. It's not it. It's not let me update Please. the token. What it is in the box? Is it a comic book? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's the zombie apocalypse. So don't open Pandora's box. <laughs> and you know what's there is a box in the um, choose your own adventure book. It's the exact situation. Like the box moves and you have the choice to leave it alone or open it. I'll tell you two things that crack me up. I like uh, from the short film clips that you can see in the, uh, the commercial. I love like, it's like, you know, it's a zombie apocalypse. Where are you going to, I'm going to rob a bank. And then like yeah. the, uh, the reporter just getting nailed by the car never stops <laughs> cracking me up. Hey everybody. I'm not wearing a shirt for a reason, but I'll be wearing one in a minute. Cause I got one in the mail. Oh. I'm going to do a What's in the bag. From Luke Stone Studios. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Papa's got a brand new bag. -da 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 -da. It's a fun my comic t-shirt. Yo, check hey, it out. Hey, cool. Oh, here we go. Sure. 
We're, come on. Yeah. Street team, yo. I'm going to put this thing on right now. And then we go play. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. Appreciate that, brother. Um, the guy who represent of a bank is going to be in the next truck. So. <laughs> All right. I got him. All got right. Shot. Okay. So you guys last time came into the dungeon. You got past the big fan blade and into the room with the three chests. Um, Hermes ate a disintegration spell. No. So he's toast. Oh, okay. And then uh, you guys he killed the him. Wongo spirit and took his mace of terror. He pissed off Pops. That's what happened. <laughs> Dude, I remember that. I was angry. He, he he did not just come out of the box. He leaped out of the box and smashed uh -huh. the head. Yep. He got me a mace of terror. Mace and that was terror. <laughs> Twinsies. Yeah. 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 You guys can be the terror twins. Uh, so, Luz, Luz would be happy about that. <laughs> all right. Leaving the area here. This whole thing, these these four things here, those are all like one big giant pressure plate that activates this fan. Right. This does not activate the fan. So you can climb through the fan blades, but you're going to have to take off running because it takes I mean, it doesn't take that long for that fan to spin up. Yeah, fuck that. We're going we're going to destroy it from this side. <laughs> all right. I thought it's, we already destroyed it, but No, you No, no, it. we we left it intact so like Anything that might wander this way to come get us is like going to have to deal with the fan. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> we are so punny today. If I was a Marvel superhero, I would be the Punisher. <laughs> okay, well, is it like a wooden structure that holds the fan? It's a metal structure that holds the fan. Okay, you're going to have to melt that shit, guys. Fireballs up. I'm sure we can do enough damage to it. Can we just go through one at a time? Could. Yeah. And then run. One at a time and run. We can do that, too. Yeah, go one at a time and run. Everybody through. can run four squares in ten seconds. And, and then just... Yep. Like and look, it's, it's going to be up to a dice roll. If you roll poorly, you're going to get sucked back in the fan. <laughs> now, I'm fireballing the piss out of this thing. I'll run up there. I'll like, I'm going to be right here. I'm going to be hitting it with my sword and cast a fireball. <laughs> Fuck this, man. We've already well, lost one party member. All right. Well, take that we chest with destroy you. it or we go one at a time and run. out of the way. I'm <laughs> about hiding behind Balinor. That's my job. I'm sorry. This, this dungeon dungeon's put fear into me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take any more damage than I have to. This thing has been a beast from the get. Yep, yeah. but don't mess around. I told you it was a fucking dungeon of death. <laughs> no, I was like, uh, even, even when you do it right, you could still die. I was like, oh, Max, Max, like I'm, I've been playing D and D since 1981. What have you got? Uh, yeah, they're like, oh no, 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 this is bad. <laughs> Max, I have a question. Yeah, I had armor armor class of 17. Before the shield, mm -hmm. um, do I have to like announce that it's up to nineteen when I'm wearing the shield? Or no, there's like a little know? there's a little button on your sheet where you have your equipment. You can just check Shut it, up. and it will. God damn, dog! <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. No, <laughs> yeah, my shield is clicked, and my AC didn't go up. My AC was seventeen okay, before. It should definitely go up if you got your shield clicked. Let me see it. It's like, dang, Max. It's just <laughs> Lame how to use a shield. <laughs> I was Shut just trying to that. help. I mean, do Shut I have up. to turn off fighting style archery for that to kick in? Or? No. I don't even. There it goes. Yeah, you know, to be to be fair, you can't actually use your shield while you're using a bow. <laughs> so, well, yeah. I know, but I well, mean, it says I, shell shield. Yeah, 
it says shell shield. It didn't, doesn't like do anything. So it's probably because you need a shield in your. Why is the shield not showing up in the compendium? There we go. There. I mean, the shell was, shield. If the shell it wasn't really nothing, counted as a shield. Yeah, that's uh, the problem. Because if you if you if you write something in, you know, you got to make sure to write in all the attributes of the item. It doesn't automatically do that, unless you're pulling stuff from like the compendium over. Okay, I'm good to go. Max, shell and shield. Okay. It's right. turtle power. All right, so what do you guys want to do on getting out of here? Uh, like I said, I'm destroying the fan from this side. Okay, let's do it. I don't know where Balinor is, but I'm going to hide. Balinor. Johnny, are you even here? I haven't heard you say anything I'm... all the day. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> he just, he's stealthing. <laughs> I'm playing my character. He's the strong silent type. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, that's all right. All right. Well, uh, we'll fire bolts. Will firebolts damage this thing? No, they will not. There's uh, a how about type of damage that must be taken? All right, let's try some piercing damage. Any good there? Nope. Do we have any kind of acid, anything that will eat this thing away? Anybody? Uh, let me check. Hermes had acid. <laughs> His acid's kind of dust right now. <laughs> that, Hermes, Hermes, we need you. Aww. <laughs> I mean, Hermes can still fight. We could pick up a handful of Hermes and throw it in some. <laughs> throw it in. Get him off. Get him Hermes. Hermes. <laughs> Hermes just became pocket sand. I love it. <laughs> throw a handful of Hermes in his eyes, man. Uh, let's see. Let's try. Uh, let's let's go through the the list here. Let's try a shocking grasp. Does that do well, anything? It doesn't do anything to it either. Yeah, it's probably gonna be flipping acid. I do not have acid. It's not acid. <laughs> mm. So fire didn't work. Weapons didn't Electric work. Electric didn't work. Electric well, didn't work. There's there's no rust monster spell. <laughs> no. If you had a if you had a warlock, it'd be real easy. Oh, force damage. There you See, go. I should have been one that died first. <laughs> okay, I mean, I... so um guiding bolt. Guiding bolt do any damage? Yeah, uh, that's radiant. It's radiant damage. It has to be force damage. Zephyr Strike. Searing Smite. No, no. Zephyr Strike is force. I could. Okay, I could can watch. I, real quick here, I'm just going to walk up there and just beat the crap out of it with my sword. It won't do anything. I tried that it's with not, my sword. Yeah, it's not doing oh, anything. Oh, you did man. try it? Okay, yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't know if the physical strength damage would work. No, it's just force damage that it takes. That it's, it's immune to. Uh, immunity to all damage except force damage. Well, the only thing I, I got have, is force damage is Zephyr Strike. I do have force damage. I got I got magic misses. That would only be a first level spell slot as opposed to using Maximilian's Earth and Grass, which is a second level spell slot. So I am going to go ahead and uh, launch my phantasmal hornets at them, as I call them, and uh, hit it with a level one magic missile. Right. Send the damage. All right. And the damage. All right. So that hits it. It impacts the 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 fan and actually does some damage to it. That's all the damage I got. <laughs> oh, <It's> level you... <laughs> one. Yeah, but it must have rolled all. It rolled all ones. 
It rolls rolled all three. ones. Three plus one. Yeah, it's... It, wait, what? No, that's not how Magic <laughs> Missile works. <laughs> I know. Why is it rolling it like that's not how magic missile works? All right, let me let me roll with you gotta roll three three forty one d four plus one, just do three d four plus three. Well the thing is when you hit the spell, it's supposed to roll the damage. It's supposed to. It's supposed to. So (laughs) I'm just gonna do the advanced roller. Yeah, I was gonna say just roll three d four plus three. Dumb to have to do this. Dumb. The box. That's stuck in my head now. Sorry. Oh, I can get that out of your head. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Oh. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> What's up with you? All right. Then <laughs> now it's that that damage actually impacts it pretty significantly. Busts okay. it up some, but it's not. You just hurt my brain. Not completely dead. All right. One more to grow on. What the hell? Okay. Now, that hits and caused it to explode into just shards of metal and chunks of of other metallic pieces. It's the fan is effectively destroyed. Hooray. Except for that, cost three spells. That's horrible. <laughs> just one, really, because the first roll was bullshit. Yeah. All right, let's carry on. Who's running point here, Janice? Well, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to bow my head in silence to Hermes. This is yeah. not a fitting resting place for you, comrade, but, you know, what can we do? I actually took some of his ashes along to, with the purpose of uh, hoping to bury them later, give you a chance to properly send your friend off. Cool. All right, so you uh, head back down the hallway, uh, come across the railing that looks overlooks the the big pit below. And... Remember, there's somebody down there too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, he he disappeared into the shadows last time. Yeah, I'm not gonna chase him. All right. Let's take not. a look down there. Do we see anybody down there? Nope. All right. Now, We're my not, kids. Uh, don't recommend that we go to the right with the face down the hallway where it's going to just with the fire in its eyes. Yeah. There's that. Yeah, there. that's, that's totally going to do something bad because everything uh, in here does something bad. We can go back around the corner and go north and then west. there's that way or there's west across the grate to that other room. Well, yeah, my ours- consideration is like. Okay, we can look through these areas and we can see sarcophagi like the one that Wanga was in. Mm-hmm. And all we got for our trouble was a mace of terror in a in a dead teammate. So I'm like, <laughs> do we really need to go in these rooms? Like, it, is that going to help us that much? <laughs> one that's all the way to the west looks terrifying. <laughs> so my guess is that we... Yeah, but follow- we don't know what that is. We haven't got past that yeah, door. We have- all we got is a door. Mm-hmm. Nor do I want to. There was there was a there was a window here, so we could see a sarcophagus. Yeah, you can inside. you can oh. see through the the mouth of the the devil face. You just have to crawl through it. No. Nope. Yeah. Tell that to my familiar. <laughs> the other problem is, is we don't know where the secret passages are. We don't know. No. I mean, we need to be able to know where. We don't know where we go, we're going until we get there. Unfortunately. Right. You know what? Guys, like granted, I would say you know, safety tip let's not jump in any sort of um coffins, you know, anytime soon. I have a boxes. Go ahead, Lord. Go ahead. Do you see the river? Yeah, there was a river, you could see it running under the grate. Under the grate, we could probably a lot of these places (sighs) avoid traps if you take the river. But we don't know where we're going. We don't I know, know where the river I, goes. But we yeah. can see the river, and we can probably go underneath. If we can see it through that grate, my intuition tells me there's other grates we can come out of and avoid giant death fans and acid spewing <laughs> faces. Is this a is this a pirate thing? Pirate intuition because it's water. <laughs> 
water. I'm just saying there could be a way to to get around all of these traps by going underneath them. I could be completely wrong. It could be full of man-eating crabs in the crack and who knows. <laughs> it's just something to consider. We could go look down in the grate and see if there's anything dangerous. And if not, maybe we explore there. All right. Well, from the from the guy doing the rear garden, the only thing in here right now that worries me is the guy in this pit. And well, I don't want to go. go. Hold up. Wherever we go, whether it's there or there, that guy can always come up the stairs behind us. That's the only thing we know about. And that's the only thing I personally would be concerned about. So you want to go down there and fight him on his terms? Why can't we shoot at him from up here? I got dark vision, you know. It's well, like, we'd have to see him. Throw torches well, he, down there. He, he went back into underneath the... There's, let's, there's let's hallways I, in the look, thing. We we believe me, before, before he said, disappeared, I was totally intending to pelt him from above. But. We, we know he's there. We know he can come up behind us no matter where we go. We might as well do it with it. That's the way I'm looking at it. We know he's there. We don't know nothing about what's here. We don't know nothing about what we'd be facing in there or in there. We know this guy's here. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I we that start we... going down this hall, and that guy can come up behind us. We start I mean, going down this hall, that guy can go up behind have... us. By the same token, we don't know what's down there where we could go down there looking at him and be... He might have 20 other, you know. He might. That means 20 others could come up behind us, too, if we go the other way. He that, saw that just That just made it worse. <laughs> yeah, he saw you guys and took off, so. And here's yeah. the other thing. The thing that was inside of the, um, the face that ate the familiar also did not come out as we went by. My guess is we leave this stuff alone. I think if we go around poking the bear in this one, it's going to eat us. Well, everywhere we go, we're going to poke a bear, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I know. Can't just walk around acting like we're going to avoid everything. That's yeah. not going to get us anywhere. Yeah, you're not going to avoid all the traps and stuff in this dungeon. He already he did have the opportunity to come up behind us already and hasn't chosen to do so. Yeah, it's been a, quite a while, and he's... So maybe he's just a punk. Let's go whoop him. Come on. I'm no. Just... <laughs> no. All right, you first. We know he's there. <laughs> we know. know he's there. We don't know his intent. We, You know, um, look. Well, by the same I, token, I, we don't know that he's there. We actually <laughs> rested. Yeah. It's been probably over 12 hours. He yeah. could be anywhere at this point. He could have doubled back and now been... Right now, right now, Pops. <laughs> All the more reason to go down there and look around. We don't know. Okay, you can if go. You want to go? If you want to go down the stairs, you guys can go down the stairs. I don't want to go. Totally not using the some, stairs. Let's right. throw some torches down there. Let's see if we can see anything. All right. You know that we could try right. the the torches. Let me see which one is. 45. I was like, I guess I should have finished building my character last last time. <laughs> so, we're all going to die. I'm wondering if I should have built two <laughs> characters. <laughs> all right. I, I want to throw a torch down there. So yeah. You guys um, all right, throw see. a torch. I'm getting the... Description of the room. Hold on. There, there was a a place that he backed off into, right, like a tunnel or something. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and throw a torch right down at the entrance of that tunnel. All right. So you drop it down into the into the thing. Roll d twenty. All right. So you're torch misses its mark and falls down into the pit completely and lands on the ground. Um, down at the bottom of there, you see uh, four forearm gargoyles that are perched upon top pedestals, each one crouched with a square tiled precious metal. The gargoyles remain motionless. 
Yeah, those things are totally going to come to life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no way they're not coming to life and bum rushing us. So we now we know there's four other things down. We knew that we knew that from the first time we came through here. And that's and there there's four levels that you can see. We we didn't know none of that. He read the description of the room the first time mm -hmm. we came through. Yeah. But there's four levels in this. All the way down into the four levels of the pit. No, yeah. I'm the only one with dark vision, and I can only see 60 feet. You're not the only one with dark vision. Well, I could only see 60 feet. So we couldn't see down four levels of pit. You know? Hey, if he's if he's reading us the description, I'm taking it that he wants us to know this information. So yeah. we, we see it. <clears throat> All right. I think maybe this area right here, guys, uh, mm -hmm. let's say we're here at the top of the stairs. Mm -hmm. I would say we want to at least try to see what's in this hallway that we didn't come through so something doesn't sneak up behind us before we go downstairs. That's my suggestion. Logical. Are you guys for trying that? That way we can make sure something doesn't I was for trying that. Pop's worried about something sneaking us from here, but like legitimately something can sneak up on us from any Anywhere. location. My thought is let's go ahead and try to see what's up here and make sure we don't miss anything before we start cleaning everything else out. Cleaning everything <laughs> Cleaning it out my clothes. Including uh, your cleaning yourself soul. out. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, remove okay. it. From it. Cleaning, cleaning up the ashes of Hermes. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> I got a dust buster. <laughs> All right. So are you gonna head down this way then? I, uh, if everybody agrees, that's my suggestion. I'm waiting to see what everybody wants to do. I was in the middle. Okay. I'm for checking out that hallway before going into the pit of death. <laughs> All right. So you guys got a 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 foot hallway that turns to the left. Yep. All right. I guess I'm going first, being the loudest one. Why not? <laughs> As you get closer to this area here. I'm going to be right at that corner, Max, and I'm going to look around the corner. Let's Wait. Make it yeah. easy. Everywhere. Don't just step on things. Go look. Oh. Look. Uh, Farther down the thing, I mean, can you even see that far? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. No, you can't. I can't see 60 feet? You can see 60 feet. That's as far as you can see. Okay. What do I see in that 60 feet? Anything? Just to hallway. hallway. It's very, uh, it's very humid in this hallway. Awesome. And you can hear the sound of rushing water. Huh. See, I told you guys. You should have taken the river. Well, the river could also lead us right out of here. Mm -hmm. I mean, so the, river, the river could be and like... And then we'd have uh, to try to figure out how to get back in again. The river could be completely enclosed and there'd be no space to breathe. <laughs> we have no way of knowing which way... No way of going and getting out. Does it go All right, I'm going to go another 30 feet and see what I see ahead. Okay. And I'm going to be walking cautiously. Do you need me to make any checks? Nope. Okay, I'm just a rusting you know, I'm statue. To walk. Okay. A rusting statue of a knight stands at the west end of this hall, gripping a large iron shield. Shards and flakes of rusted metal cover the floor around the statue's feet. All right. Well, guys, I see a statue up here. Is it a human knight? Does it, I mean, yep. it has a faceplate? It's a human. It, um, there's a knight up here, and it's rusted metal around his feet. Does the sword, it, I mean, when you say statue, is it marble or metal? It's metal. So there's a metal statue with rusted flakes underneath. I'm going to assume that's because it's probably come to life at some point, and that's the flakes that's actually broken off. Like I said, I'm only assuming here. Do we want to keep going on and see what's up there, or do we want to go back? 
No matter which way we go, there will be dangers. I agree. Depends I say we go ahead and go forward and see what we have. Just be ready for anything. Do you have anything that will melt metal? Ooh. Fireball? <laughs> well, it does damage. It's, it's not specifically made to melt metal. No. <laughs> no spell the game metal. That specifically does that. <laughs> I'm saying, well, but do we have something that might slow it down since it looks like it's made of metal before we go in there? I can likely damage it. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna go very slowly again. Okay. I am concerned. Uh, as you get, I'll oh, go ahead. As you get closer to the room, you notice that over here on this side of the room, like on the edges, uh huh, there are a bunch of bones. What oh. kind of bones? Great. That's just great. big bones. Them bones and bones and very Can large. Can we tell bones. what they were? No, it's just they're just busted into pieces. Is there any kind of clothes or armor around them, or just bones? Just just bones and a. There's Maybe. a couple like really rusted uh of uh, <laughs> uh war axes, I guess it would be. Thorax. War axe. Oh. So it looks like it might have possibly killed something in the past. Maybe. And, th and maybe this is what's left. Not very comforting. <laughs> nope. Clearly a lot of things met their end here. Do we still continue? Let's take a vote. I am concerned about your gear. And why is that? I do not like the, the abundance of rust I see near the statue at the end of the hallway. Yeah, there's a lot of rust there. It's not like a little bit. And you are covered head to toe in metal and wielding metal weapons. Well, I could stay here if you guys would like to continue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move forward. Okay. Yeah, I just, I don't want to let Balinor lose all this shit here. Yep. Um, as you get closer, and I'm going to back up a little bit then metal objects that aren't worn by you, but are carried start getting kind of pulled towards this thing, like a magnet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm Ooh. getting way back then. <laughs> Hold on. If it wants stuff to suck in, we can throw arrows at it. <laughs> <laughs> I can well, you even... can shoot an arrow at it if you want. Well, yeah, no, what I will do like... is I will I will shoot. Well, let's uh... wait shooting something at Hold it up. because up, it's down. actually the statue itself that has this ability. I have... It could come towards us, and if it gets close to us, same thing could happen. I have a GM question. Yeah. I've been dipping arrows in all kinds of fun stuff. Some of them were acidic. Okay. So those arrowheads are pitted. Yeah, those, those arrowheads are... <laughs> They're not as uh, sharp as they used to be. Well, I was thinking that there's now a hole in this quiver from it, but okay. they, they don't need to be sharp. They just need to do the same thing to the target. <laughs> Dipping Maybe arrows in acid blow. does not give them an acidic <laughs> property. <laughs> it was acidic blood. Yeah. It was blood coated all over the arrowheads now. All right, it's a question so, for the GM. I'm, I'm asking. I mean, it won't do anything for you, and the only thing that you can do to actually do anything for you really is poison. Or you can I cast a spell. I got a yeah. jar full of poison. Well, I know. He's talking about just the biological nasty that you've got all over your arrows because you never clean them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have the grenades, too, that I have. I have a couple of those left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, look, I can stick an arrow in it from a distance and we can see what happens, but everybody has something ready to go. Yeah, I was, I was planning on shooting a firebolt anyway. I'm going to okay. have that one of those bombs ready to go. All right. So you're going to fire a firebolt first or do you want to fire the arrow first? 
I'm in front. I'll fire the firebolt. Since okay. it's nothing metallic, let's see what the yeah. what happens. Firefly streaks out, impacts the target. All right. As soon as it impacts the target, you see this almost like a force field kind of around it. It hits like this blue light where the impact of the uh, the firebolt would be causes a blue flash. Hmm. Does it remind me of the shield spell in any way? Uh, it could, but I mean. You could cast a tech magic if you want more information about it. Yeah, I was more thinking more along the lines of an arcana. Okay, you could do that too. You've seen Robin Hood, right? <laughs> Prince of Thieves? Yep. Oh, yeah. I keep having that line. It's time to renew that vow going through my head right now. Uh, <laughs> I wish it was an advantage. <laughs> All right, 15. Yeah. Um, you... You know, it's not like a shield spell, but it's something that is hit it that is impacting. It's got some sort of force field around it. And use a spoon because it'll hatch more. <laughs> you have a spoon, cousin. Right. I'm going to take a five foot step closer. All you right. need to hand off anything that you got that's metal? Vespa's roll perception. He said uh, like it wasn't affecting the things I was carrying, right? No, that you're wearing? Mm -hmm. It is, but the stuff that, like, if you got stuff in a backpack, your backpack's kind of okay. getting drugged toward it. But yeah. mm -hmm. um, can, I, can I jump in here and try something real quick? Sure. Now you hit it with fire. Yep. You hit a force field, correct? I did. I want to try a guiding bolt match. Radiant. And see if that penetrates yon force field. Okay. You send a guiding bolt. And it impacts the the statue the same exact fashion. I don't right. think magic is going to do it, guys. Yeah, it's protected against magic, that's for sure. Seems like it's time for a uh, Mista to throw an arrow down there. Vespa's roll perception. Right on. That's something real quick. I'll be right back. Yep. You're not oh. sure, but you swear those bones moved. <laughs> That's good enough for me. <laughs> I will take a few steps back, I think. <laughs> I'm going to ask him what's wrong. I cannot be 100% certain, but I believe the bones littering the floor might have moved. Well, I'm kind of voting that we go downstairs then. <laughs> Dude, this is driving me nuts. I have not been this cautious since I did Undermountain. Yeah. <laughs> that was like decades ago. I'm like, come on. Oh, no. You, you want to pass up one for four? <laughs> well, we I'm got, just worried about him losing. If those like... bones are moving, if those bones are moving, there's a lot left. There... We got more. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, the thing I worry about is I really do not want Balinor to lose all of his shit because an unarmed, unarmored paladin is not the best thing in the world. I got a question: Is there any way that we can see if our magic weapons are affected the same way, or if it's just regular weapons? It's just regular metal stuff, and it doesn't have to be ferrous metal. It can be any metal at all. Every bit of my but, stuff, that most of everything I have, is magical that I'm wearing. Yeah, well, you haven't gotten close enough to it to to feel the pull of the magnet yet. Vespa's no, I'm dead. asking um, our bug boy here. Oh. Yeah, I'm so asking... like, uh, so I only felt like my mundane metal being drawn towards it. Yep. 
Man, Dane. Is, oh, good lord, we're going shadow hunters here, aren't we? <laughs> Excuse in, me for being verbose. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, the stuff in your backpack is not magical. That's mm-hmm. metal. Would definitely be drawn towards the the statue. What no, is the Mace of Terror made of? It's magical. It's magical, so you don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna t- I'm gonna leave my pack here. And only have the weapons that are magical on me. Okay. And I'm going to leave all my stuff right here at that back corner. All right. That also, I'm going to probably try to position it where I can run like like I can grab it if I run. If okay. I have to do the Scooby and Shaggy, you know, background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drop everything except the Mace of Terror and the Vicious Longbow. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll follow suit. I'll leave my backpack back here. But my daggers sheet. and my sword are magical. All right, pops. I'm gonna stay back. As you set your <laughs> stuff down and pick up the mace of terror, you hear a a uh, almost a whisper in your mind, and it just says, "Let me in." Oh, yes. 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 Sentient weapon. All right. Love it. Love it. (laughs) Charisma saving throw. (laughs) The Mace of Terror is talking to me, huh? Well, you don't know if it's the Mace of Terror or if it's just a voice in the dungeon. But you heard it. You like kind of heard this whisper in your brain. In your brain. Well, we don't hear it. This is all him. Yeah, it's I mean, all pops. You can't it's all hear. All pops. It. Okay. Who are you? I am a friendly spirit. I am Zool. It's fucking Wango. How <laughs> come you sound so creepy for a friendly spirit? Look, look. <laughs> The spirit world is one that causes much distance in the voice. It is very difficult to travel this far to communicate. Well, let me tell you what. Do you want to go on a little trip with me? I do not have a choice. <laughs> so I'm carrying you. Okay, I got this figured out now. <laughs> You are my weapon, correct? For now. <laughs> okay. That works. Um, we're going to go have a talk with this rusty set of armor over here. What do you think? Could be. This place is dangerous. Yeah, we kind of figured that out already. We've lost a companion here since we arrived. We'd really like to find a new ally to take his place. Guys, I'm having a conversation with my mace. Just hold on for a minute. Uh, it's kind of weird, dude. What are you yeah, talking to? I'm talking to the mace. All right, okay. Um, I'd be careful with that. Be aware uh, sentient weapons can have will of their own that might supplant yours. They can either yes. aid or they can supplant. Yes. Yes. Hey, man, He's already good. warned me. Brass that, crack. You all right. Look, the dude's mm-hmm. already provided information that this place is dangerous. He may have more information. I can Did put you? it down, guys. Why do you I call just... it? It's uh, when you say that you could put it down. It almost hurts your soul. (laughs) (laughs) That makes it easier to put it down, man. No, it does. It makes you to where you don't want to put it down. This thing is. That's what it's really. I got a question. Does he start calling it my precious? (laughs) It's referring to itself as precious yet. I'm just very, very important. I haven't had it long enough for it to have that kind of hold on me. I'm not gripping, dude. You've you've had it. For an, you don't know what it is. I mean, it depends on what level it is. It could be versus what level you are. You you were you were sleeping okay, well, with that thing. 
I'm going to walk <laughs> over here hours. and I'm going to set it down next to my pack. You don't want to set it down. I'm going to anyway, though. That's no, you don't. Will. I don't no, think you, you don't. You're not it down. You don't understand what a cursed weapon is? <laughs> so you're saying I've been cursed already and I don't have any free will, so... Well, you yeah, don't want to put it down. Calls. Yeah, you don't want to put it down. It's a, it's a very important item to you now. Yeah. When you, when you think about putting it down, you think about how you will lose... A part of that yourself still doesn't match my personality. That's sad. Well, it's a cursed weapon. It's what happens sometimes. Yeah. I mean, typically you don't get to unequip them, but I'm letting you unequip it, so you just have to carry it with you. That's what happens when you open the box. <laughs> don't open. A, see, it's kind of a. <laughs> A self-fulfilling prophecy on the, the weapon's end. Because you don't want to put it down, but the longer you have it, the more control it takes over you. Great. I haven't had it very long, and you're saying it's already got complete control over me, so I have no control. Well, it doesn't have complete control over you, Pops. You just don't want to put the fucking weapon down. <laughs> <laughs> Good times, everybody. Good times. I, think it's, I think it's ironic. Just how badly Pops wanted to pick up that mace last game, too. <laughs> he just jumped down there, double fist in that coffin, like, it's mine. Yep. All right, so we're in the hallway. You got a rust monster door, a rust monster statue in front of you, and then there's a bunch of bones on the floor. There's a pathway that goes to the right or to the left. What do we want to do? Been an hour we've been in this hallway. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go up carefully. I'm gonna the um how what is your how do I pronounce your name now? Who? Jeff. Biz biz. Biz biz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. Thanks Don't for make making it easy for us. <laughs> All right, it's the name is derived from the uh Latin taxonomy for wasps, which is Vespid. oh, very cool. So, like, so uh, Vespid. So, like, I just took the D off and then buzzed it out. Mm -hmm. So, Vespis. No, that's cool. No, I like it. It's just, I was just, it's not always easy. It doesn't roll right off the tongue. So, <laughs> it's just buzzing um, noises with a couple of different consonants in front. Mm -hmm. First of all, I'm going to turn around to our little cleric. Do you mind uh, saying a little uh, prayer over us? Dear Lord, help us all not die. Does that help? <laughs> I was kind of thinking more of a blessing, but you go right ahead and then, you know, crack jokes I mean, or skippy. Bless the group. That's what you're asking. Yeah, uh, do you mind blessing us before we get go further? Let me uh, get to that right now. Just give me a second here. Let me dig in my bag and find all my well, holy... Yeah. And Buzz Buzz, I think you and I should probably go shoulder to shoulder in here. Wait, that was supposed to be a level two spell. I'm sorry, so we could cover everybody. Okay. I'll count it as a level two. Well, I figure we're all standing pretty close to each other anyway. It's a narrow hallway. Yeah, but I guess it is a level. Oh, you're talking about how many creatures, though? Right? Yes, yes, yes. So it's a level two, so we are covered. Cool. Oh wait, we so... don't have. How many does it cover? Dang it. Hey, it pretty... I'm it gonna go funny. in here. And yeah, staff right by that front doorway, to, and I'm looking at those bones and looking at that statue. Is either one of them moving? Nope. I just have this terribly funny thought that back here in the pit is where we're going to find Tobias's new character. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> or it could be in here. I mean, maybe he's in. Problem. Maybe he's in the suit of armor, <laughs> trapped. All right, so I'm going to go further into the here. room. Do I need a roll perception or anything, Max? No, nope. you step into the room, and as soon as you step into the room, the bones all start to fly around the room. Well, that's great. I'm stepping right back out of the room. Um, <laughs> I mean, not... You make know, a I'm dexterity gonna, like, save. I was going to do a kind of a... I'm kind of going to try to defend myself like, if they're flying around. Yeah, so make a dex save. 
Nice. All right. Yeah, you can back up into the into the hallway. What are the bones doing? Are they forming or anything? Yep. What, can I tell what they're forming into? Yep. Many sure times. can. Something big and nasty. You're going to drop a freaking picture now, aren't you? <laughs> it's There's the icon right there. Look at it. Eesh. Is it just one? Yep. I'm sh I'm I'm swinging. The minute I if I if I the minute it forms enough, I can swing. I'm swinging. All right. I'm gonna try at least get one good hit on before it can hit me. Yeah, this huge minotaur skeleton just kind of like snaps into position in, in front of you. It's like you can see the bones making the click clacks as it all snaps back into position. Uh, picks up the fucking axe that's the size of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I'm doing on it. All right. That's a hit. For 10. Okay. Do I get my normal two attacks or just one on this one? Just one. Okay. Please. I just want to confirm. I figured. And then roll your initiatives. All right. Here we go. It's like I'm ready to kick the crap out of something. Apparently I'm not. <laughs> I'm exactly where oh. I like. Yeah. Les well, always likes there. to go last. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I like it. She's she's there if somebody needs the healing. Yep. Exactly. If I go first, it's like, sorry, you're all dead. And I've already <laughs> All right. So, Balnor, you're up. I'm going to activate my uh, Searing Smite. Okay. Mm. And then I'm going to attack that sucker again. Activate. Murphy, stay. That's a miss. Oh, but you got a plus one to your thing, so that's a hit. Ah. 14 slashing. Here's my Searing Smite. Another four. Okay. Am I good for my second? Hold on. It's got a, it's got a con Okay, save. that's why I just want to make sure. I know you got to do your thing. All right. You're good. You can go again. Oh, too bad it's not advantage. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> crit, man. I tried. Oh. <laughs> okay. Still, definitely a hit. 13. Your fire, he's got his oh, wrong save. My bad. All right, he <laughs> failed to save, so uh -huh. it's 10 damage extra. Take that. Just ah, a little bit. Up. It's a good start. Oh man, pops almost. Oh, another these, these, these near crits. <laughs> I know. 11 damage. And that's a hit too. For seven. All right. Then we'll go up to Jeff. This business turn. All right. This thing is taking a lot of damage and it's seriously fucked up now bones are falling off of it it's missing part of its horn well that's good let's give it some more i will mm -hmm. uh rush on in to assist balinor and we will smack it once with my sword let's see Uh, 
That's a hit. Hey, Max, at some point, I'm going to. Do we notice that that other one is moving at all, that statue? No, it's not moving. Okay. And then we will also uh, hit it with a booming blade. Okay. Or my, my buzzing blade. Buzzing blade. The cicada blade. <laughs> yeah. I love that sound. What's that? Is it called that or does it actually buzz when you use it? No, it's called booming blade, but flavor. Oh, gotcha. Okay, spell casting five feet. You want to hit target suffers weapons, attacks, normal effects, and then becomes sheathed in booming energy at the start of your next turn. If the target willingly moves five feet or more before then, target takes some damage. All right. It's like it says cast it, cast at what level is a cantrip? <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, let's see. So let's see. One d eight. Fifth level. There's an extra one d eight thunder damage to a target on hit. Yeah. So an extra one d eight, and then two d eight if it moves. Mm -hmm. Spell save DC is sixteen. Oh, Save for a mighty the one. one. <laughs> and uh, I will, uh, because I have the mobile feet, I will dip back out 15 feet. Well, he failed his constitution save, so he took one damage. <laughs> Ow. Bless you. No, I said, Ow. Oh, that was <laughs> I thought, was a, I thought that was a dainty little girl sneeze. Oh, <laughs> I do do those, but uh, I usually mute myself. Then it does take its 2d8, so roll your 2d8. All right. All right, how do I get off advanced roll? Right? Let's go back to dice. As it's stuck on advance roll. It's going to roll normal. Nice. Boom. So there's all these all right. As insects it steps, flying around it. Yeah, they're stinging just, it with buzzing energy. Then as soon as it takes a step forward, its its foot kind of crumbles. Its leg crumbles. Then it falls down onto its knee. And then it falls to the floor. And Balinor, you can see a shining piece of metal inside of there. Hmm. How interesting. I don't know if you want to touch it. Wait, I what now? <laughs> in the in the in the 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 bones that broke, you see a shining piece of metal in the pile of bones. I'm gonna use an arrow and move it around and see what it is. Okay, hold on. Gotta find the The two. Yeah. Do I need to say that I'm carefully doing this? <laughs> no. There are um Okay, the to to key it's got a skull that extends into a carved key-like shape. And this well, shape is a, is a triangle. Take it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Okay. You pick it up, no problem. I'm going to show it to uh, Buzz Buzz. Have you seen anything like this before? Have I seen anything like this before? <laughs> no, it's just a key. It's a skeleton 
head on the with the where you grab the key and then it's the got a uh triangle for the key itself i was just making didn't know if you'd seen it while you were in your other caverns wow this is a new tune all right um but i guess we can explore the rest of these rooms yeah, you could check him out. That thing is dead. Yeah, he's dead. Huh, I didn't I'm even... gonna I'm gonna look around that upper corner and see what we see. Go to the right. I guess above it's by the map. All right. A large fountain crusted with moss rises in the middle of a circular room. Three marble maidens stand at the in the fountain, holding pitchers of out of which water flows. Ugh. What what do we see? Buzz, buzz. What's down the other hall? It's I a will... dead end. Hmm. That's this way is a dead end. Is illogical. Why create a branching pathway that ends in nothing? No, it I agree. Either, it is either a trap, or there is more to it than it seems. Is everybody like forgotten what drew us into this room? Oh no, we haven't forgotten. Just inching <laughs> our way to it. I, I want to know. Hey, Max, to stay as I'm far gonna, back as possible. Max, I'm going to cast a spell real quick. There's still a force Gosh. field on this thing, and is it still yeah. sucking yep. in people's stuff? Yeah, well, we. It's, we it's like a our, giant magnet, but all yeah, the we, stuff we is left. At, we left all our metal stuff back here. All the yeah. non-magical metal. So, so did, should we check out this fountain there? first? What spell did you want to cast? Never mind. Never mind. I, I'm okay. going to wait. So, um, I should we check actually, out this fountain? I'm actually going to check out the statue since I feel yeah. less endangered by the fact that I'm not encumbered with uh, easily destroyed metal. Yeah. I want to try and figure out, uh, does the force field prevent me from touching it? No. It does not. Now I'm going to kind of look. Do we see anything around that statue that might need that a key could go into? No, there's no key slots on the statue. All you see is a big pile of rust in front of it. It's mostly rusty on the shield. Hmm. Can the shield be taken off the statue? Let me get no, a little it's all magic. one. What's it's all that pops? big thing. These guys might want to cast detect magic on it. I mean, it has a force field already. We know there's got to be something magical what? here. Is it the shield? But if it's all one piece, I mean, we know it's well, magical saying, and it's all one piece anyway. I'm saying, is it the shield that's magical putting up the force yeah. field? Is it the armor? If you're, if you're willing to take 10 minutes, I will cast detect magic as a ritual. All right. We can do that and save mine for later, unless you want me to use mine. No, no. I would. Is yours an expendable resource? Uh, so mine's a get... spell. I'll just have to get it back later. No, like I can cast it as a ritual, which means I'm not using a spell slot. No, granted. Right. That's what right. I know. I was just checking. So detect magic after a few minutes of Vespas using it as a ritual. Uh, Vespas, you get an, an uh, effect of aura of transmutation magic over the shield yeah. yeah the statue and the shield are treated as one large object ah. this entire what is thing. it there's transmutation magic upon this edifice here it's clearly turned metal to rust exactly that would be by a supposition Defanging the snake, as it were. So I'm going to assume that it's just here to protect it. As long as we keep our stuff away from it, we should be fine. Yes, it is <laughs> apparently... It is issuing no pull against our magical weapons and armor, so... The problem is, is if we want to go... If we go find anywhere else through here, we're going to have to leave our stuff. And I don't really like that idea either. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I say we get... check out this. My suggestion is we check out this fountain area, and then go ahead and go down the stairs. Down what stairs? The Back one, the the, other, the ones that we know about. Okay, I want to make sure you like you weren't saying like I can see those stairs. No, we can't. <laughs> no, we can't see those. No, I'm talking about the other ones. I'm going to assume, even if we found a magical doorway or anything in this hallway, we can't bring our packs or anything with us anywhere. Yeah. Unless we want to, unless we have something to dispel magic, which I don't. Yeah. I wish I could get dynamic lighting to work, because then you guys wouldn't be able to see all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Max, I'm just I saying. I'm just acting like we can't see it. So. Yeah, I know. Uh, Max, I forgot to mention in the uh, course of the long rest, I would have uh, brought my familiar back into play. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to go up here and see what's in this room. Buzz, Buzz, you coming? Yeah. All right. Lori, are you up there or are you still back in the hallway? I'm in the hallway because I have stuff and it'll eat it. Okay. So I'll stay here. It doesn't, I, hopefully, there's, it's just scream bloody murder if you need me to come rescue. All right. So it's a large fountain crusted with moss rises in the middle of the circular room. Three marble maidens stand in the fountain holding pitchers out from which water pours. <laughs> Maybe it's my turn to detect magic. I can do it again. It just takes 10 minutes every time, so I don't waste a spell slot. Yep. But detect magic lasts for like 10 minutes, so I can still see. Well, can he see? Is, is that magical yep. then? Um, there so, is, do we know what is? The water is magic. What type? What school of magic? Or of transmutation magic. <laughs> I have warned you immediately. Do not touch the waters. <laughs> we do not want you turning into a frog or a lizard or something else ineffectual. I mean, it could be good, but it's probably bad. Do you have a, anything to identify it? You can bottle it. You can make a fortune. <laughs> It's like just random. It was like, hey, drink this. <laughs> That's how we'll find out what it does. Have some water. You thirsty, buddy? Dip your ears in it. Just try it on somebody. Oh, you know what? That's awesome actually... water balloons, too. Hang on, hang on. I've got a pretty fascinating idea. I'm going to uh, use Mage Hand. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will uh, use Mage Hand to. Uh, take some vials and collect a couple of vials of this yep. water without touching it. <laughs> no problem. Except for what if it transmutes the vials? Better the vials than me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll have our answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, everybody it's, stand it's, back in case it transmutes it into something explosive. That's okay, Balanor's in Ops, are you in the room with us? No, yeah, I'm just trying to warn you. Oh, um, no, I'm just asking if you're in there or not. No, I had to stay behind her. Or she'd be back here defenseless. Dude. As you put the the mage hand and your your vials and the water fills the vials, no problem. Um, yes? Balinor, roll perception. <laughs> Brack! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those would make some interesting nice. water balloons. That's what I'm thinking. You've got a on the 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 statues, the three statues. Uh huh. There is uh, three different little buttons on the bottoms of the uh, the the. What are they called? The, the the jugs. The pitchers, yeah. Yeah, the pitchers. I I I buzz buzz. There's three buttons on the jugs, but the last time we well, usually there's only the two buttons on the jugs. Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good Lord. Unless it's E T, the extra titty. <laughs> it was bound to happen. <laughs> And he said jugs, so <laughs> was you said jugs. 
<laughs> now, I'm not going to say the title, but there is a comic out there where the girl does have three buttons. <laughs> Word. Not going there. Not going there. This 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 will go way beyond PG-13 really fast. <laughs> And just like that, we get to, you know two hundred more followers. Watching. <laughs> There's nothing about our network that's ever been PG thirteen except the mm-hmm. Silver Line shows. Okay. I don't even think the commercials are PG thirteen. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Balinor, if you would step out of the room, please. Well, I'm staying way the hell out of the room, <laughs> and hiding behind my shield. Well, you're. You're I'm right hiding there. like a little. I'm hiding like a bit. Where are you gonna go to? I'm going Put around that freaking corner. corner in the room. There you go. All, All right. right, I'm gonna dip around the edge a little bit, and I will use uh, my insect mage hand once again. Yep. And I'm gonna press a button and see what it do. All right. Um, I'm going back in that you... hallway and telling what, telling uh, the our <laughs> other two what they're doing. You press one of the buttons and a door opens right here. And it leads to a little alcove. Inside the alcove is the statue of a, of a, of a man. You look like a man. Any recognizable figure from the territory? No, not at all. I mean, he looks a little odd, uh, a little bit dis- disheveled in his in his look. But other than that, it's just, uh, it almost looks kind of like Han Solo and Carbonite. <laughs> okay, Does, please. What's the expression on the statue? Does it have like this kind of uh, thing going on? Or is it kind of looks like Hermes, doesn't it? I yep. think it looks like, yeah. A little, little bit like Hermes. Oh, yeah. So hey. it's, a, it's a king coup? <laughs> no, it's, no, it's. No, just, oh, because just... Hermes is disheveled. Okay. <laughs> it's our way to get another character back in the... It's like, it almost went past me. I brought it back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Keep up, Jeff. Yeah. I, I, I got I had a had a slow down for a moment. I'm going to go in and, and uh, examine it. All right. Do you touch it? You know what? It- Let's touch it with the mage hand. <laughs> Let me step All right. As soon as you touch it, the thing starts to glow a very bright blue. And hold on. Are you doing all right? I'm going to ask since we don't can't see what he's doing. The blue gets brighter and brighter and brighter. Until it hues, you guys see like a flash, like almost like a photography flash come out of that room. Um, Vespas, you are blinded for one hour. Oh, shit. Okay. And, hey, um, um, did he it? I'm just curious. Hold on. <laughs> you hit a bug zapper. Pretty much. <laughs> Buzzy. You all right in there, Buzz Buzz? <laughs> I will tell you. you. How do you pronounce your name? Buzz Buzz. Uh, Hermes? Oh. Uh, her. Uh, her. <laughs> her. Her. Yeah. Her. In the meantime, right, her. Uh, you. I you, call uh, my familiar in so I can see through my familiar since yep. I'm blinded. Yep. Ooh, um, that's smart. There is start a... calling you Dar. There's a man that is now laying on the ground in front of you. Um, Er, the last thing you remember was going into a dungeon in your land of Kryn. Oh, dragon land. um, You were hit by some sort of spell that caused you to become stone, to petrify you. Okay. And that's the last thing you can remember. And now you're waking up in this place with this bee man <laughs> and a we statue and a statue, a fountain with three three uh, women standing in it, three statues of women standing in it, pouring water into the statue three. from their, their pictures. Had- statues of women around here too? Mm-hmm. 
in the fountain. There's three, three, three statues of women in the fountain holding pitchers, pouring water into the fountain. Tobias? Oh, that's the transmutation water. Correct. Okay. Well, I must have drank from this and turned to stone or something. That sounds like something Hermes would have done. Yes. <laughs> It seems well, I, I have a, found a, a victim of this place. <laughs> I must have drank the water and turned to stone. Who are you? My name is Vespas. I am a member of the Emerald Enclave, and I am here on a mission to... Uh, do we know the big bad guy's name? No, you just know that you're looking for something called the Soul Monger. You don't know if it's a person or a thing. We are looking for the Soul Monger. There has been a distressing event concerning resurrection magic. That's probably what brought me here. I'm assuming. And who are you? And, and all this time, the voice is like in your head, you know. Because that's how I speaks to regulars. Yep. You don't know my clicky clacky buzzy language. Oh, so you actually talk in a different okay, yeah, yeah, you, I, Yeah, I'm I'm telepathic. Okay. That's that's how I have to communicate with non telepathic people because uh, humanoids cannot reproduce the uh, the clicks and the buzzes that yep. uh Thry Cream make. Mm. Drag. Drag me. I'm going to say at this point, after I would have probably walked up there to check on him. Mm -hmm. We'll move your character up there. I was just letting you know I'm going to. Yep. All right. So what, All right, yeah, what does the guy see, look uh, like that I'm seeing? Uh, well, Hermes or Tobias. I keep calling you Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> um, describe your character. I get in the habit of calling Lori Lulls a lot. <laughs> she answers to that. Kind of ghastly, honestly. <laughs> I mean, uh, long, wavy black hair and like skeleton face. I mean, he's got blood on his face in the little picture. He probably looks like something evil, but he doesn't know like exactly where he came from and stuff. Like your face is painted like a skeleton, or it looks like a skeleton. Um. Hmm. It seemed like you know, sickly a bit, I guess. Skeleton. You're standing, in, you're standing in front of a super super emo goth dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's not like I didn't know if like he's like a a death knight or something, or if it, he just no, his a, face yeah. is dressed up like that. Have you seen the show Lex? Yeah, long time ago. There's like this Oruka, whatever, some guy named Kai or something, kind of that vibe. Well, the assassin, just like silent and I don't know. Can you put Mostly. the name of your character in the chat box so I can see it? Sure. Yeah, is it just rah. really okay? <laughs> er, what's up? Er. <laughs> It's like every time you pause in a conversation, he's going to be like, oh, what? <laughs> so like, uh, I was, uh, what? Oh, sorry, not you. <laughs> so you um, How did you? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Uh, you want to have the cleric check him out? Anybody want to, like, got to check for evil intent or anything like that on this dude before we get all chummy with him? Well, I would imagine that if I walked in that room and he had an evil intent, I'd Max would have let me know because that's kind of my yeah, that's yeah. my holy ability. I don't have to cast a spell; I just I feel it. I don't think he's evil. Let me make a take a look. No, I'm chaotic. I'm just chaotic. Okay. Well, the uh, the detect good and evil doesn't work like it did back in first and second edition, where you actually detected whether or not something is evil. Now, it yeah, it just it's like by a smell or whatever. Well, it's yeah. What it is is it detects the presence of otherworldly beings, like uh, fiends, undead, mm -hmm. uh, aberrations, fey. It's not like I detect your alignment. Cursed it weapons. doesn't work like that. Oh, okay. Cursed hey, weapons. please. Luz wants to know what's going on. Please come back. <laughs> 
Well, I'm, the question is, is do we want to check out these other buttons? Oh, we're going to check out the other buttons, but I'd prefer if you guys were all out of the room so I can. No, I, got, I got it. Yeah. We go back and get the other two up. I take Marilyn Manson with us. Is a damn pier? <laughs> is a damn pier actually undead? Or uh, half they're, half? they are classified as humanoids. So okay. Let me get in the uh, the race real quick. Because, uh, like for instance, uh, Vespiz is actually considered a monstrosity. Yeah. Let's see, Ravenloft and down here. And let's see, you are a humanoid, so you are not classified as undead, but you do share some traits with the undead. No, I don't like it. Well, we don't know he's a damn peer yet. Yeah. I still don't like him. <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm like they're you don't have to like me. I'm a legendary <laughs> hero. <laughs> I just proclaim this. Undead are no, my no. favorite enemy. Yes, my Okay, he's not undead though. He's yeah. still humanoid. But he looks undead. He does kind of look undead, yeah. He looks he looks mostly undead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite undead. <laughs> mostly dead. Mostly. Mostly dead. I feel happy. <laughs> he looks like Rob Zombie in concert. <laughs> <laughs> like a not so creepy Alice Cooper. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking Marilyn Manson. So <laughs> maybe a mix between the Wait, two. I'm of them, just I gonna guess. start calling him Eminem. <laughs> oh no, I got a nickname for him already. I just mean of him. course she does. <laughs> yeah, she does. And there soon there will be a tattoo about it. Oh, yes. It would be a cool tattoo. Uh, so, really? <laughs> what do you guys want to do now? Well, I want to see if, like, if you guys want to interact with him before I start pressing more buttons. Yeah. Well, aren't you guys going to leave that room? Uh, oh, I, I left the I room. I left the room. Okay, so. But I can press buttons with my mage hand. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Bohan here down the hallway, and I'm like, who the hell is that guy? I'm just like, yeah, I'm just walking with Valinor then. You just found a random... What is that? He was actually frozen. Buzz I... Buzz actually was able to free him. Why Petrified are you... Petrified in stone. Start crawling yeah. on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to help. <laughs> he starts spider man <laughs> on the walls. <laughs> Great. And all of a sudden, he needs to roll up another character from us. <laughs> Do you need to shoot it? Like, what's going on here? Yeah. I love Tobias just wandering around like, oh, you know, after a century of stone, I feel like <laughs> stretching, stretching, stretching my legs. My legs. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a question. Is he walking around or does he have hibernation sickness? I've seen Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's hibernation sickness. Why did I get the hibernation sickness? I'm the one who's blind, not him. <laughs> Hey guys, what you're the one with all the eyes. <laughs> who, who is it? Please tell me who is. My name is Er. I, I'm sorry, what? Er. He's got er. something in his throat. Er. Ernie. Ernie. Er. Oh, Ernie, it is. Ernie. Yeah. It is. For sure. <laughs> Back away, from Ernie. Thank it's you. Ernie. Evil er. Ernie. No. Oh. Nice one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Trademark. Trademark. Look, Lady Death can't be far behind. Oh, that's right. right. Brian doesn't own Evil Ernie anymore, does he? Nope. Oh, wow. No, it's Chaos. Yeah. He sold all that stuff to Chaos. Or to, to uh, Diamond. Or not Diamond. Dynamite for a while. I don't know yeah, if he's got he, Evil Ernie. He hung on to Lady Death, right? Yeah, he still owns Lady yeah, Death. Lady Death is coffee. Lady Death, Purgatory. Um, a couple other ones are still coffee. Hell Witch. Hmm. There's another one that's new. Puritanica or something like so, that. I can't remember who her name is. Britannica and, and there's another Satanica one. Satanica or something. So he kept all the bitches for himself. Yep. 
Mm. I thought Satanico was dead. Uh, it might Dan be someone else's character. I thought that was Danzig. It could be. I mean, right. I'm not saying he's a lab, but, mm. you know, like. So, you guys are standing in the restroom. Uh, Ur is. We're in the bathroom. Showed up. <laughs> I'm um, around stretching my limbs. <laughs> Where do you guys want to go now? Did you want to go down um, that dead I'm end hallway? Press these, or press, press I got more button? buttons to press. I was just giving them a chance to uh, interact because, you know, me and Balan are kind of been like the thing over here. Yep. All right. You press the second button. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second button depresses with a soft click. And out of the one of the fountain uh, pitchers, some something falls into the water. Need help? T time to time to go. I'm gonna see if I can. No, no. Did it look like a small object, or yeah, it wasn't very big. It I'll matters. see if I can mage hand that out of the water. Haven't you seen aliens? <laughs> Why do you think I'm not touching it with my own hands? Yeah, <laughs> I'm way over here. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Think... I'm not leaning right over the egg with my face. Yeah, that's um, a... your yeah. your your mage hand retrieves a ring from okay. the water. Also not okay. Okay, that's definitely coming back here. Although I will not put it on. Not just yet. Not until I've had a chance to really examine it. It also. And... We will uh, we will press the third button and see what we get. All right, you press the third button and the two other buttons reset. Huh. <laughs> All right, for now I'm just going to put the ring in a in a pocket. Okay. Kind of order. Is there like how many buttons were there? Three. There was three. One on each of the pictures. All right. Do you have any non-magical metal on, Er? Uh, <laughs> yeah, all of it, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> We're I, about to see something. Uh, I can even when he just walked. I have, a whip. Up. <laughs> I have a whip and a bow, so I don't. So my rapier yeah. and my hand axes would go. All right. Well, just roll a uh, strength save, DC ten. Strength saving throw. Ooh. Yep. All right. All right. You, uh, the, it's pulling on your equipment, but it's not strong enough to, to pull away from you. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with using you. these, <laughs> these two things. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just like just saying... on the longbow and the whipper and not enough for me to have, I think. All right. Well, if you want to toss your, your, Weapons away. Away. Well, okay. I could just, I don't know. I could, I don't know, Val. I'll, I'll bring it back here. Longbow should not have anything to do with metal. Okay. Yeah, longbow is basically just wood. It's wood, it's and, wood and twine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll leave my um, hand axis and rapier here. Okay. Can I take them out of my inventory for now? So in case we no, fail. you're you're fine. You can just hold on to it for now. I mean, it's not like you you just say you picked your stuff up. All right. Last but not least, I want to check down here because okay. a blind in. Yeah, it's but, never. <laughs> Hey, you know, I'm like each of these uh, squares. I am going to firebolt just to see if anything happens. Okay. One after the other. Ping, 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 ping. <laughs> you impact the firebolts on each of the floorboard or each of the floor tiles, and I mean, there's char marks, but that's about it. All right. I'm going to use the mage hand to exert pressure. On each of the tiles going forward. Okay. They are nothing. The mage hand does not push the floor down in any of the positions. There are no pressure plates. Look at the walls and ceiling. 
Yeah, I will. I will come on down and, um, like Lori suggests, look at the walls and ceiling as I go. Uh, looking sure. for sigils, runes, glyphs, anything that might go boom. No, you don't see that, but you do see this part of the wall here. Mm -hmm. Could be easily torn down. And this wall here actually has a secret door that is activated by a button. A button? I am going to come back out and share that with <laughs> the group. I gotta take my metal things. Well, as much as I'd like to check that out, the problem we have is if we do, we will lose our items. Yeah. Not necessarily. Her was strong enough to resist the pull. It might just be that we need someone of strength to carry our items through the passageway. Which is not me. In our eyes. I have developed my mind, not my body. I'm a bug, damn it. I don't got um, no strength. <laughs> which is kind of it's kind of sad because bugs are actually incredibly really strong. Really strong, yeah. <laughs> but I have oh, devoted seen, myself to we've seen Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. Well he's the Spider Man. He's running up walls. <laughs> I'll go in. Should I go in here and kick this doll wall down? If you want to. Does anyone have a opposition to that? Uh, we missed a, um, a character who has a death wish. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing can kill me. I'm a legendary hero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you kick the wall down? Different traits. I'll try to. All right. Roll strength. All right. It's pretty low, so I might end up. Not a save, it. just a. Regular strength. All right, you only needed a five. Okay. So, just good. Uh, you barely made you, it. <laughs> yeah. You kick. You kick the the bricks down, and like you can hear them rolling down a set of stairway, a stair, a stairs, and uh, the stairway. Once it's opened up, it's just this dark stairway full of cobwebs. Nope. Like. Nope. Oh, nope. <laughs> too spooky for me to know there. I mean, creepy. like, when I'm talking like full of full of cobwebs. I mean, like, like nobody's you have been there to, a long time. Yeah, you gotta bust your way through these cobwebs. Some Indiana Jones level shit. Uh, you yep. can just fire. Yeah, you can oh, do fire. Hey. Yep, firebolt does set things on fire. Uh, would burn the cobwebs away. All right, you burn the cobwebs away, no problem. And there's a so a bunch of spiders rush out. No, it's just a bunch of bunch of stairs leading down. Yeah. All right. So I will share this information with the group as well. So now we have multiple options. We can go back to the pit, down the stairs. All through the secret passage at the end of this hallway. And there's the other room you can go into if you want to go through the mouth. Yeah, no. But I don't think anyone <laughs> wants to do that. If we do in the mouth? I don't or... even know if I'd fit through that hole, so no. Anything uh, I can't fit through, I'm not going in. <laughs> <laughs> It just says it just doesn't seem worth our while to like open up sarcophagi just to get cursed items. So yeah. I'm with Valinor. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's plenty of other places that we can go. No. Well, I don't know. Do we want to try this secret to go down, or do we want to go ahead and go use the other stairs that we can at least, see, you know, we know where it's got a little bit bigger area. Granted, you know, we do have gargoyles to deal with. That's why they're, I was they're way like, down. At the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. They're not they're not they're not like one level down. They're like four levels down. Well you said they're four Oh, I didn't understand that. Okay. You said they're four armed gargoyles. Do they have wings on them? Yeah, they got they got wings and they're four arms. Yeah, so uh it, we don't even have they, to go down the stairs. We activate those things and they will come to meet us. Yep. 
You know, I'm I'm particularly sad to bias uh, that Hermes got killed because uh, what you didn't know is I was going to throw a fly spell on Hermes just to give him like the joy of flight. <laughs> <laughs> that opportunity yeah. is gone. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm just I'm kind, back of here up. That kind of ability too. I'm back here fly. picking up my neck. Yep. All right. All right. So we need down the stairs or. Which, through this secret door over here, what do you guys want to do? Or back to the pit, like uh, Pop suggested to do. Hello, oh, Billy. Yep. I built the door. What's up, Billy? Oh, I missed that. So we got to vote for the door. Pop, she's still aching to get in the pit. Um, I'm look. Opinion we should, I'm still of the opinion we should have done that in the first place, but you know, I'm just a follower, not the leader. So, How about you, Balinor? Now I got something else controlling me half the time, anyway, or, or going to control me at some point, anyway. So, it doesn't control you, it just talks to you. <laughs> it would be annoying. The longer <laughs> I can't put it down, the more chance it's going to have control of me. Well, now, does our cleric have remove curse? Oh, do I have a what? Remove, remove curse. I don't think I, have a, I don't know. Let me look. Or is that I something you can lie down? Or is that something you can load up after a rest? I don't think she took that spell, but I don't think I have a, it. No, it's a third level abjuration yeah, spell, so you could take it. Time we ran into this particular problem, mm -hmm. so I don't. See, I don't think anybody foresaw a problem like that to to Lotus spell like that. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's the nice thing about like clerics and druids is they can they've got Just their whole them. spell list to pull from. So all she needs is a rest to like load that up and yep. remove this curse from you. Which one is it? Remove curse. It's called remove curse. The third level <laughs> abjuration spell. Yeah. Have it. I mean, you have it. You just don't have it. Load it in. You just gotta prep it, not a rest. Gotcha. You need a short rest, I think, to change your spells, right? All right. Long so rest. I'm just gonna tell Long everybody. Okay. I gotta tell everybody so you guys know the situation. This thing won't let me put it down. It doesn't want. It's like I don't want to put it down, and I know there's something weird about that. Uh, okay. So be prepared. We'll just have to try to find something to separate you from it. I'm just letting you know, guys. You know, it, it just Ew. something weird about it that won't let me separate myself from it. I don't like it. Understood. You know. We may have to kill you. <laughs> if you try cutting off we do not <laughs> kill members of our party. We've been through this. Ah. Purposely. Ralph. Chop off his hands. Ralph. I think I'm with Pops. I, I kind of want to see what's going on in the pit now. All right. <laughs> so I'm the same way. Let's go. Move down into the pit. Let's Give go. me a second here. We put all your characters I, I together. I like the idea that we're not going to lose our items. So. Yeah. <laughs> put all your characters together so I can copy and paste you. Did we figure in any experience at the end of the last show? No. Okay. Just just check it. That's why we only we avoided a few traps and we dealt with one enemy. Yeah, you got the Wongo guy that you fought. Yeah. Wongo. All right. <clears throat> That would mean turn off that turn there off would be, the, sorry. We got to turn off the dynamic lighting so everyone can see. Wongo was one of the trickster gods, right? Yes. yes. One of them. He's the monkey one. Mm -hmm. And there's nope. eight more. All right, so down this direction, over here, let me open the thing up. Being silly here. Not... 
Oh, this I'm gonna make fun. sure I'm I'm always attached to a wall or a ceiling. <laughs> Just there he goes again. Eighteen. <laughs> this looks fun, fun, fun. This, this place is all about scary faces on things. Yep. We, we should have went down the other set of stairs, though, guys. We should. Uh, all right. So this one here, this down here, you see the walls and floor of this 15-foot square room are cracked and with carved images of terrified humanoids falling. Set into <laughs> the middle of the floor is a stone boss relief of a bearded devil face painted green. Forlorn cries echo from the black void of its gaping maw. Yeah, I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> <laughs> this this dungeon's full of nope. Throw <laughs> <laughs> like something in its mouth. Hermes, just no. I mean, er, just no. <laughs> we're not even, we're not even close to finding the big bad yet. <laughs> in, the, in the middle of Hermes. We, we, er, we, will we, call we will never get to the big bad at this rate. This this is bad. Well, there's six dun yeah. there's six there's six levels to this dungeon total. Yeah, four I levels guess. there's that is easily accessible, and then two that require you to get to it. Well, I'm, I'm digging it. I, I like being on edge. <laughs> too uh, too many games are yeah. a little too easy. Yep. Um, shut up, whoever just said that. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely not going to be one of them. No. All right. So um Balinor. Um I'm I'm going to go out of my way and say we do not want to go north. So uh, I think the most dangerous you, thing in bro. this dungeon is the dungeon. We're, we're behind you, brother. We're following you. Creep your way up a Reap your way up and look around the corner and tell me what. I'm gonna look at down this hallway and see what I see. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, you see a hallway <laughs> that leads to a, to a chessboard. To a chessboard room. Yep. That's about all you can see. Oh. All right. I say we go carefully. Yes. Is that where he's himself for the fifth time? Just curious. I say we go carefully that way as well, but I'd like to bring up the rear so you guys all just creep along behind Balinor, please. Okay. Sure Jim, let's have the let's have the loudest guy go first. All right. So stealth I'm stealth has I'm done us absolutely you. stealth has done us absolutely no good since we got in here anyway. Especially <laughs> since I got the shield on, guys. Everybody knows what we're saying. <laughs> Is Ernie stealthy? Yeah, is Er stealthy? Okay, I'm going to go up here to this and see what's left and right. All right. At a four-way intersection, the corridors to the north and south curve upward and out of sight, but with no rails or steps to allow them to be climbed. The corpse of a half-human, half-goat creature in robes sprawls ten feet to the north. It grips a staff with, tipped with a bronze goat head. Don't touch hmm. that. Biz biz. Staff. Do I need to tell I Ernie? I think that used to belong to Skeletor. <laughs> okay. Is he actually alive? No, he's he's dead. Ernie, don't eat anything. Yeah. I'll eat everything. Blood. Buzz buzz. You want to check this out? Yeah. <clears throat> I will... Uh... Ritually cast detect magic once again, and I spy with my multifaceted eyes the staff. Okay. Um, on these, the 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 pathway itself, mm -hmm. there's an aura of transmutation magic, and Can it's you see the theme. It's uh, basically, it's kind of this. This thing is a big circle. Okay, so you can you can walk all the way around the circle because there's a a, a, a transmutation magic that that gives you gravity. Hmm. Interesting. So you can walk on the ceilings like Ur over here. You know, just for just in this 
this circle here, this thing is a big circular. So it's I'm like gonna, uh it's like that I'm moment in two thousand one where the guy is walking in the hub of the space station. Yeah. Okay. Like if you walk up here, you'll come back down over here. Right. I'm trying to look like, the ceiling in the walls for anything in particular, like as a climbing on the ceiling and stuff. Just a loop the loop, guys. Oh, but there's nothing specific that you see. Mm -hmm. but but the there's that dead guy. And his staff. Dead guy. Yeah, dead guy with his staff there. Does his staff light up with any sort of magic? Uh -huh. It's got a goat head on it. Of course it does. Because you know it's metal. It's got the goat head. <laughs> it's got a goat head on it. Hey, guys. Yes, it is magical. What uh, Does it have a school of magic, or is it one of these Trans things that's going to be kind of indefinable? Um, I don't know what it would be. Okay, because but... I'm saying like some staffs have like multi-purposes, so there might not yeah, be a well, it's a magic. It's, it's a station. It's a it's a staff of striking. I'll Ooh. say that. So I don't know what Ooh. a staff of striking would have for. It could be it could be transmutation because the staff has been turned into something, or it, it definitely it would be into, It could turn into a striking weapon. Well, I would just like to point I mean, out the tattoo would, of a as well. <laughs> I think I wouldn't mind a staff. Or he's cutting in and out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Only getting every other word. She said she had a, a tattoo. Of I, I said, I oh. want to bring your attention to this tattoo of this goat that I have. <laughs> that, that is all. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is transmutation magic on the staff. I told you. you saw everything in this place has been transmutation magic. Come on, guys. So get far. with it. <laughs> if... Uh, if Ur wants the staff, I've got no problems with that. I'm I'm pretty well yeah, equipped with my staff. own weapons. Okay. I don't need a staff. I got I'm already a pink cushion. Yeah, as far as uh, as far as lulls goes, like lulls goes. I keep wanting to call her lulls like laughter. Mm -hmm. uh, why would you why would you have a, a marking of a goat upon your flesh? Oh, it's a long story. Long story. It has to do with eating things, but and screaming and screaming really loud. And fainting. <laughs> Righty then. I'm so glad I for? asked. That answer was more than I'd hoped for. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'll tell you some more after we're not in the world. All right. So are you going to loot the guys, Hermes or Tobias? Loot the guys. The, the staff? Yeah. You just want to just want the staff or do you want to loot the whole body? I, I mean, I guess if no one else is going to, I will yeah, sure. See what he's got. All right. He has uh, a ink pot that never runs dry, worth 100 gold pieces. And there's a spell book. Oh. Hermes, do you cast spells? I mean, uh, Ur, do you cast spells? Uh, no, I uh, do not. Do you want this book? Uh, I would like to see if it's a wizard spell book, please. It is. Oh, yes! Score! <laughs> it has... It is a wizard I spell book. I want to hear you do that in Biz Piz voice. <laughs> yes! Score! <laughs> <laughs> what it has for spells... I mean, I could just... I'm just going to copy and paste it into the chat. Yeah. That staff is just a staff of striking, you said? Staff it is a staff of striking. But it's also magic or just... Yeah, it's yeah. staff of striking. Well, is staff of striking weapon. is magic. Okay. But I won't be able to use the magic card until it's like... This so you be able, magic. You gotta, you gotta... The spell magic, third level, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta nice. attune to the weapon, which takes a long rest. Before you can really use it as a staff actually, uh, you can attune right. in a short rest. Oh, can you? I thought it was a long rest. Yeah. Most most uh, spellcasters have to do a long rest, but the uh, the items are short rests. It has to be identified first, though, right? 
Oh, but you got to identify in that spell book. Yeah. Cool. Identify and dispel magic. That's identify wonderful. is identify is going to be so very helpful. Yeah, because we already have a bag full of shit. We don't know what it is. <laughs> I know, and it's like it's a ritual cast too, so I can throw that out without having to use up my spell slots. Okay, can you use identify on we'll... more than one thing at once. No, 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 you have to touch it and cast Casting it on each for... individual thing. But we do so, got some cool shit in the bag of holding that we don't know what it is. That's good to know. It might come in handy for the big bad. We identify this staff. Uh, since he kind of told us, let's just say that being a wizard, I know it's like, oh yeah, that's that's one of the special wizards' hitting sticks. <laughs> Smacky smack. Can we continue now? Yeah, if you want to. <laughs> Balinor's in a hurry to go get his ass <laughs> Late. All right, I'm going to go up here and look into this room and see what we see. All right. <clears throat> this room smells of wine. On a checkerboard marble floor, a gilded coffin sparkles in sunlight streaming down from the chamber's vaulted ceiling, which, arc, or, which arches 12 feet overhead. Four stone, huge stone gargoyle heads, their mouths agape, protrude from the walls. Always with the heads in this place. Eight heads in a duffel bag. And extra buttons. Hmm. And extra large jugs. What's up with this place? Not going there. Oh, well, what? I am refraining. <laughs> oh, what? <clears throat> so that's interesting. Smells of wine. Did any, like, uh, do I, as a resident of this particular continent, know anything about trickster gods and one being particularly attracted to wine? Um, yeah, we got a drunkard. You want me to make a religion check or something? Yeah, do a religion check. Because uh, I haven't. I haven't been around for some of the other stuff you guys have done. I don't remember which one was the party god. I don't <laughs> think it really pointed it out that much. Is party god, part goat. Uh, you have oh. no clue. <laughs> Religion is not my thing. I'm yeah, all about have, the arcane. You have no clue. I'll check it out. Like, yeah, you actually probably right just forgot stuff about religion. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. To you, you clerics and your <laughs> paladins and your gods. Actually, I'm going to hit, I'm going to try it here. I think Tobias scored. Yeah, you both scored. But I'm not, I'm not from here, though, so I might not actually uh, even know. Well, I take religion being a paladin, so. Yeah. He's a pally. He knows things about. Okay. Don't pirate. Obviously, I'm a little bit closer to our god than you are. <laughs> so am I. He, he is My god, god is not here. one of the dungeon per se. Mine is the god of the sea, and we ain't the ocean right now. I thought you had the light god. Are you the, oh. which god are you, did you take? Well, uh, it's a light god. I just you know I can't see the the light of the gods without being on the ocean. It doesn't say any specific god being attached to this thing here. So The gargoyle heads are five feet tall and five feet wide with mouths that are two feet in diameter. Mm, those are big heads. So these are four buttons? No, those are little pillars. Okay. I'm going to crawl in on the walls and stuff. 
and kind of like investigate. All right. Well, you got a head here and a head here and a head here and a head here. There's sunlight falling down on this thing. Sunlight's falling down on what thing? On here, on the altar. On the, the, the altar, the little sarcophagus. Uh, looking in here, um, Hermes, there is... Uh, damn it, where did it go? Uh, there's a valve behind that thing in the, in the, in the, the, the face. This face? Yep. Um, does this one also have it if I check it? Yep. And this is wine? Or it is. It, it smells like wine. Does it look like, as a dampier, could I tell if it's blood? It's not blood. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm assuming it all, all of them have uh, valves, so I'm going to go tell everybody that there's four valves. <clears throat> I believe there's four about one valve on each head. Do we wanna check these things out? The sarcophagus. And uh, I guess we look, he, he go wasn't up and around, look at it. He, he wasn't around for that last bout yeah. sarcoph sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and uh what are these? Uh, what are these posts again, DM? They're just pillars. Okay. All right. <laughs> he's going. He's going. Curtis Low on us. He's going to go get himself a drink of wine. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Can we turn the valves or anything, or just leave them? Not so fast. Yeah, last time we started touching things, it did not end well for one of our party members. Well, now that was getting in boxes. That was dumb on our part. <laughs> All right, so we can clearly smell wine coming from these heads. Mm -hmm. uh, Buzz, you want to move up the hallway, please, so I'm not <laughs> so far out of the game if something happens. I come in. I'm baking. I was making cookies. <laughs> where's my cookies? Well, I hope you made enough for everybody. Yeah, where's my cookies? <laughs> hey, come out of the class. Here I come. Here I come. Yeah, I did my AIT training in Texas. I was out in San Antonio. <laughs> Beautiful place. There, yep. I'm a little closer now. Is that better for you? Yeah, Mr. now Bob? I can shoot arrows in the room if I had oh. to. Now, I had to do AIT at fucking Fort Sill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was not. It was not nice. Yeah, I, I heard. Like you know, we used to call our place Fort Resort. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Fort Sam was awesome. Yeah, Sam Houston is great. Yeah. Fort I've been there Sill. for medical stuff. Yeah, that's uh, that's. I was in a medical support battalion, so that's where all the medical people get their training. Yep. We all go to Texas for that. Uh, let's see. Do I see um, what's on the sarcophagus? Uh, any sort of uh, reliefs, carvings, sigils, runes? Not touching Keyhole. it. Yeah, Just I know you're not touching it. Keyhole. Uh, Very good. Where'd you do boot, by the way? Fort Sill. <laughs> oh, geez. I was uh, mostly God, training. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. What kind uh, of training? Most of training, one, one station unit training, military one station unit training. It's basically you do AIT and basic training in the same location. When, okay. when, we, when, we, when we got the AIT, the drill sergeant had us in formation and he's like, Privates, you are wel welcome to AIT. <laughs> You will notice that there is a fucking vending machine in the back of the bay or the back of this bay. You are not to use it. <laughs> it's like, but we're not in total control anymore. Come on. <laughs> Boots over. <laughs> but we didn't get shit. We, I mean, uh, it was basically boot camp the whole way through for 14 uh, weeks. Fuck, dude. That sucks. It was shitty. Uh, I, was, uh, I was at Leonard Wood in Missouri. 
Oh, that's a hot place to be in the summertime. Yes, it was. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't say anything about anything. Uh, is, there a, the... is there a uh, carving an image to give me any clue as to what this sarcophagus might contain? No, but uh, um, it has a hinged lid and a wooden plaque reads drown your sorrows in common <laughs> I suggest we all exit the room yeah I don't think we need to open this one <laughs> I've got a terrible feeling that if we start messing with stuff in here this room is going to flood with us in it well we, it's we it's know it's that. I can crawl on the ceiling in case that happens I kind of curious you can do more than crawl on the ceiling, dude. You, you, of uh, course, you're curious, man. I don't, I don't know if you're aware of this, Er, but dampiers don't need to breathe. We don't. Nope. Um, um, yeah. Er. Do you guys want to exit the room, and I'll try turning these valves? Er, listen to Jog. me carefully. Er, listen to me. Yes. The last time we encountered one of these sarcophagi, we lost a member of our party. Mm -hmm. We want to walk too. away because we don't want to lose another member of our party. Are there are there any tricks or gods that are, have an affinity with like water swimming, <laughs> being fish Ooze, monsters that swim in uh, wine? Kubalon, thing. I'm just worried if he starts running valves and this door shuts and this thing starts filling up with the uh, with fluid. But he's going to be stuck in there along with a fish monster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm trying see. to say, man, I don't want to lose another yeah. party member over curiosity. <laughs> that curiosity killed the ur. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Here's that green face, the green face, the green devil face. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't want to talk to him. At that all. looks inviting. <laughs> <laughs> I know Shut my familiar. Up, I, I know my familiar will not be crawling in any strange mouths anymore. Yeah, he's still mad at you, isn't he? He's got no say. Oh I my bad! I out. forgot. In the in the book is also this, Vespas. The book is also what we got to know. Know that I. Devlin Bashir and the last surviving member of the company of the Yellow Banner. The warlord, the warlord Rodney, stripped us of our weapons and threw us here on orders from his master Asarak. I can only imagine our souls are to be fed to his phylactery. Alas, it seems he has won. Our, com our company was separated after an incident with the four-armed gargoyle. The tomb guardians tore Seward to, piece with, to pieces. And with him, we lost our star fallen. Our quest was a failure. Even if we found the eye, the elf princess was gone. My friends wouldn't have lasted long without their weapons, especially with a doppelganger in our midst, as Seth suspected. Of course, I kept my staff, and I'm sure Brixton's would have seen some humor in that. Gentle reader, let a dying man offer you one piece of advice. Aserek is a trickster who desires nothing but your soul. He, his riddles may help you, but in the end, his final secrets always lead to your doom. Timora, save us all. And with that... I'm like looking at the new guy. <laughs> doppelganger. My doppelganger? No. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm going to try to see if I can put this staff down and if, if it's going to let me actually do that. Yeah, you can put it down. All right, I'll pick it back up. Then. Just making sure it's not like attached to me. Nope. I mean, I can. I can prove I'm not a doppelganger by triggering this trap with you guys in a safe place. He just wants to mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, he's, just, he's a lemming, man. He's a lemming. You're, the, you're playing the same exact character, dude. 
I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe underwater. It doesn't matter. You play the same exact character. Mm -hmm. All right. So, are you leaving this room? Yes. I got a bad vibe on it. (laughs) So, you don't want to check anything else in here? Just leave? Uh, I mean, we can check around for stuff, but I'm pretty sure, especially after reading this note, uh, I'll just impart that, like... It All seems... right, let's go back out and start checking around the other corners. Then I am not okay. quite sure how this will lead us to our final. When you uh, get, hold on, I'm in the wrong way. It seems that Asarac... when you get here, Johnny. Yeah. On the wall, written in common, it says the ring is a path to another tomb. The dead abhor sunlight. Only a jewel can tame the frog. Bow as the dead god intoned, into darkness descend. I'll put that in the chat. Hold on. Oh, good lord. So the ring is a path to another tomb. So I'm thinking so the this ring, ring is somehow. The one that Buzz Buzz has. Yeah. Did you tell us you had that ring, or did you put that in there without our knowledge? You know, I didn't even think about that. I think I just kind of. Yeah, you just pocketed it. I don't think we know about the ring because I think you just put it in when you found it. We were around the corner. Yep. Yep. So you'll uh, you'll have to let me know what you just read over there. Well, you're telepathic, so I'm telling you. Hmm. I found the ring in the room with the stone with the bone minotaur. I wonder if that has any. If that is, is there the a jewel thing. in the ring? Was there a jewel in the ring? No, it's just a single gold band. So we, yeah. so it looks like from this po- this writing, we need some kind of jewel. It says bow as the dead god intended. I'm thinking that we might need to crawl on the floor for something. Oh, that the ring. Pathway. The ring <laughs> might <laughs> also. The ring might also be this path over here. Could be. That's what I was saying. Is this was this not a ring? It goes around in a loop. You know, is that the ring that leads to this tomb? We're already right. in there. Oh, maybe you need to put the ring on to activate it while you walk through. Yeah. I wanna walk the the ring and see if I can see if there's a jewel anywhere set along its path. No. No okay. jewels. I am so loath to put a ring on that I don't know anything about it after <laughs> what happened to Pops. <laughs> you can cast identify. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. I can cast identify as a ritual. Let's find out yep. what this ring is all about. It is a ring of protection plus one. Hmm. So it's yeah, much like the ring. It's much like the ring I'm already wearing. Correct. I, I don't think that's the thing that I think this is the ring they're referring to, leading to yeah, this. Yeah. Pretty sure right. that's probably what you guys are thinking. It's yeah. The big ring of the. Yeah. I mean, it's got to serve a purpose, right? It's yep. got to serve a purpose. But, Everything has to serve a purpose. Even if it's um, to kill you, it's, it's got to serve a it's purpose. It's possible that the jewel that we need could be in that sarcophagus. Mm, that's true, too. Um, it's the I don't know where the dead of board the sunlight comes from, but I have, oh. guiding, I have guiding bolt loaded and ready to go. Well, there's sunlight that's pouring down from the roof onto that. That are okay. done to that sarcophagus. The dead and poor sunlight. The dead and poor sunlight. So that's going to keep him in place. So what about this? The bow is the dead god intended in into darkness to send. I think it's crawling into his mouth. I think it's going down these stairs and going farther down to the next levels. But, I'm curious, DM. If I go back and examine this body, can yeah. I tell how he died? Yes. Uh, How did he die? 
roll Let's call the DM. <laughs> he had a bad DM. <laughs> fell from the roof. Uh, where does it say that it says? You know, I bet that other room is where his party lost all their weapons. The rust room. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the goat staff is not maybe not. Uh, yeah. No, it's a goat skull and wood. Yeah. But it's, it's magical, skull. so it's tough. It says I know it said that he how he died. Oh, he was killed uh, by wounds from axes and crossbow bolts. Huh. So there's traps in here, maybe. But I just walked this whole thing and didn't suffer any ill fortune. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So something came and got him. Axes and crossbow bolts. Oh man, this place is such a big puzzle. <laughs> it's all one huge puzzle. Yeah, Aserac, man. Aserac loves torturing adventurers with his <laughs> mazes. Okay, so I'm going to go on the assumption that the jewel we need is probably in that sarcophagus. Is there and any place around this? Is, I'm going to look around that. Is there any place around that coffin that we actually a key would go? No. Yeah, yeah. we asked that um, one already. It's got a like lid on it. It does have a hinge lid. To, uh, yep, there's a hinge lid. lid. Well, we is could all get like, back, and you can use your magical hand and move that. See if you can lift it. The handle only lifts like five pounds. Yeah. Is there any like scratch marks on the floor? Like this, like the coffin is slid. Ooh. Good no, call. no, no scratch marks on the floor. Coffin okay. does not move. This right. looks like once again, in order to get what we want, we are going to have to willingly walk into the trap. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's an idea. Is there a where where they since there's hinges on the up, opposite side? Is there kind of a little bit of a of a lid a, a ridge? Like, could I have a grappling hook hooked to it? Step back and pull it open from the from the back side of it. Probably. I don't know why not. Mr. DM, sir. Yeah. I'm sorry. I oh, say God. we try yeah. that and we can all be back here. And when I open the door, <clears throat> if somebody which, wants to be kind of like on the side on of it Max? to be able to look in it. Which side of the hinge is on, Max? They're on the north side. Okay, so then I'm gonna get down here on the south side. No, you were good. You were up in the north. You're gonna pull it open. It's gonna open from the south. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. Is here. yeah. So when you put a grappling hook on this side and pull it open to the north. So yeah. All right. Let Inch me here. see. And here. Anything that's going oh, I need to do a strength check or anything? Yes. To pull it open, you will definitely need a strength check. All right, are you guys ready for me to try this? I have been arrow notched. Hang on a second. I want to increase I'm our odds a little bit. I am, am I going to go back to the body of the wizard. Mm -hmm. And from out of my honeycomb sleeves, uh, several carrion beetles. Will crawl out and Your start. Leaves are effect. made with cereal. <laughs> Honeycomb's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not small. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a dark show. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like I, I kind of play uh, Vespas. Like his whole gear is like makes him like a walking hive. That's where I, like yeah. all these all these bugs are my spells. And uh, these these carrion beetles will infest the body, and I will cast animate dead. And oh, okay. raise this thing up as a skeleton. Okay. And so it's being puppeted by a bunch of uh, insects. Yeah, bugs. Yeah. Just so we have a little extra. You know, Creates an undead servant. 
Yeah. So we got an undead servant, and you know, if this place does fill with water, uh, at least that thing won't have to worry about uh, breathing. <laughs> and uh, skeletons have a nice little ranged attack on them. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess I need a token for my dead guy. Yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> This thing kind of jerks to life. <laughs> it's kind of moving like uh, Edgar from uh, from Men in Black. <laughs> you know, it doesn't yeah. move quite right. It's uh, Edgar suit. <laughs> Your skin's hanging a little loose there. Oh, is that better? <laughs> Find the skeleton. And I'll put him on the... Yeah, I will grab the skeleton stat blocks so I've got it on hand. Skeleton. It's right here. Controlled by... Skeleton popped up because of the, the, the chest? Or... No, I no, he, he made the skeleton. I, uh, I, have, I have bugs puppeting the uh piloting it. yeah like they 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 are basically acting as its muscles and sinews and they're under my my direct control you should be able to move it now i'm good can you move that skeleton uh, where's, it, where's it at it's right next to the body oh okay yep i got him fantastic okay cool thank you sir yep <clears throat> All right. Then you got to roll your strength, Johnny, to pull that open. Yeah. Are you guys ready for me to do this? No. <laughs> no. I do it anyway, I guess. That's a failure, my friend. Oh, no. All right. How long do I got to wait to try it again? Uh, let's see. Herb. Appeared to have some strength about him. Maybe he could help you give him yeah, an advantage. Give it, give it advantage if he gets help. Uh, I have like a nine for strength, so oh. well, still, <laughs> as long as you're helping, it's just it gives advantage. Plus, I can do it again back here. So, did you want to go in I and help like him? Or turn, you gonna... No, I, I feel like we should turn the valves before anything. So, I don't want to. Uh, okay. You want to turn the valves before we check out the sarcophagus? Because I want to, I want to open the sarcophagus when sunlight is coming down on it, not before it's under, you know, ten feet of whatever is going to come yeah. into those. Yeah, just some of the stuff's pretty like misleading. Like all the riddles are going to kill us. So do we do them correctly or do them wrong? That's all I'm kind of. Like. <laughs> well, the note did say Asterix was a trickster. Speaking yep. of which, does Vespas know anything about? this lich uh you would you would know that he's a lich and he's very famous in the world of faerun for okay. being a, for being a super powerful lich but that's about it all right this is worse than i thought having to deal with a lich is far than ideals a most deadly of foes all right, I'm oh, yeah. going to grip this sucker tighter and try it again. All right. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. What? You're weak like little girl. Dude, this is killing me, my Lord. Oh, no, the mighty paladin. He did not eat his Wheaties. What is going on? <laughs> no, I was even, freaking eating honeycombs. Yeah, even advantage. <laughs> even advantage wasn't the main advantage. So so much for impressing Lowe's there, guy. Oh no. <laughs> that, is, that is not even, how you get the hot pirate girlfriend. <laughs> Mr. Charisma. Even even if you had advantage, you still would have failed. Yeah. Does anybody want to give me a hand here? <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Somebody already gave you a hand. Uh so well no, Er didn't go in there. Oh, he didn't? He's, no, oh, he said he didn't want to go in. Okay, this will be funny. Um, 
That guy's going to give you a hand. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So All right, roll advantage again. roll. This, this dead satyr wizard is like grabbing the rope with you. <laughs> All right. 12 is not enough. Uh, Does, doesn't the other guy roll too? No, no it just, just gives him advantage. advantage. Oh, okay. Because he's he's got the best strength. Yeah, when I roll. Okay, you know Are what? You just, you're rolling strength saves on that second roll. You just want to roll your strength itself. Oh, all right. I hit the wrong one. There you, there go. you go. 15. All right. So the lid pops open. At the same time as the lid popping open... Uh, hold on. Badness. Definite badness. Time to renew deem that vow. <laughs> oh, oh, this boy. starts to slowly descend. Run! I'm gonna dive. I'm diving. <laughs> All right, you need to make a dex check and do a dexterity of ten, and then you got to roll. Another deck saved and not take damage. Wait, All saving right. throw or, or straight decks? Saving throw first. Okay, sorry. Here. That's a failure, my friend. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, shit. As soon as this thing hits the ground... All four of these valves pop open. And the floor starts flooding with wine. Well, at least you'll be drunk when you die. All right, I'm going to try to open that door up. What do I got to do? Roll. Uh, you can't. <laughs> what? It can't. It doesn't open. I'm going to start yelling at them to... Get me a hole out of here. I can I can do the stone thing. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, yeah, definitely oh. do that. Because I don't have anything that'll teleport him. How All long right. does that stone spell take to cast? Let's go look. Because I think it's ten minutes. I'm not sure. Can I misty step through something? No. I could have just misty step through the out of this. You should have. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, yeah, it's only one have, action, so yeah, you don't have line of sight anymore, so you can't do that. Yep. So you can cast that. It's filling up with wine. Uh, what are you gonna do to the stone shape? You're just gonna make it open up. Yeah, I'm gonna make a hole so they can climb out. All right. So the hole as appears, and we get there's wine. wine. <laughs> there's wine pouring out of the hole. Uh, it's probably about knee deep for Johnny right now, and he's pretty tall, so it's floating. It all flows out into the the hallway here. But at and, least die. There's plenty of space for it to dissipate. Yeah, you can hear the wine pouring over the ledge here. It's about like I say, going back into the pit. <laughs> yep. Take that, whatever's down there. <laughs> And then, give me a second, I'm going to switch. Oh, that's clever. That. Instead of water weirds, wine weirds. Yep. Elemental creatures made out of wine. Ah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so let me see if it tells me what these guys look like because it doesn't say anything on their picture. Uh, they look pretty much like a smaller elementals. Yeah. Yeah, they're like more elementals, just more medium size instead of large. Okay. The ability to breathe water does not help a character drowning in wine. <laughs> ah, but you see. But he uh, doesn't have to breathe. He doesn't have to breathe. Er, like, 
Yeah. Air? Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it was like one of, one of my characters is a damn fear. And it's like we were having a fight underwater. And so, like, I could stick to the floor. I didn't have to worry about swimming and I didn't have to breathe. I was like, good luck, everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a whole set of rules for underwater combat. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Half your movement speed. Disadvantage on attack rolls with anything that isn't a piercing weapon. Um, bows and crossbows and uh, range weapons like that only go their minimum distance. Anything beyond that's an auto fail because it's you know it basically acts like yep. a, a harpoon gun. Yep. So it's a good thing the room is not completely flooding. That will help with a lot of that. Yep. It's like we yeah. uh. In our fellowship with D20, we were in a, a room that flooded top to bottom, and that was bad. That was a bad fight. That's what was going to happen here. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, that and yet. limited visibility, well, too. <laughs> yeah. You definitely need to roll initiatives. Yeah, let's do that. Looks like they changed the um, something about it. Yeah, they've changed a lot of things lately. It's a pain in my ass. Well, yeah, you we were we were trying to and change it there because we uh we ha our Sunday game like uh our DM was having a tough time with like all the stuff they changed in the UI. Oh yeah, it's terrible. All right, initiative. <clears throat> One good roll, good roll. Give me good roll. Um, where would it show my like key points? Uh, your key points are listed on your uh your a uh, character. What do they call it? The resources or something like that. Just remember, you've got as many key points as you have levels Four. of luck. Okay, I think I did. Class Six resources. Levels. So you've got six key points. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. And I can use some of the stuff's kind of confusing because it's like worded weird, but I'll ask later. Yeah, I can uh because let's see, you took the way of the long gap monk, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll uh I'll help you with that as needed. See, this sucks. Not to be racist, but if we had a dwarf with us, they could just drink these suckers. I was kind of thinking the same thing. I, we need a party full of dwarves. Like, ah, this is no problem. I'll show you. You need to be running from me, don't you, laddie? <laughs> all right. This has got reach, so he's not going to go all the way down there. He's going to stay over here. And attack Balinor with Constrict. That misses. Vespas is up. All right, let's start off with, uh, for lack of a better name right now, uh, Skeletor. Uh, let's see what's his chance to hit. <laughs> you figure it would have like a damage bonus if it was like electricity or something like that but it doesn't <laughs> all right let's see so it gets plus four to hit all right only one attack so that's what we do is uh is this thing reaching balinor from all the way over there yeah it's got reach okay well that's fine that means i can attack him from the distance so Need a... You're using the skeleton man? Yeah, he's starting off with a uh, with skeleton mm -hmm. there. What are you attacking with? I'll be using the ranged attack. Okay. So uh it's a bow. I can't seem to get this thing back to just regular dice rolls. It's stuck on the damn oh there it is at the bottom, simple roller. All right, so it's going to be D20 plus four. The attack roll. Did it double up on the roll? 
Yeah, I rolled twice, but that's okay, fine. So ten's not going to hit. Actually, with plus four, you didn't get your. Oh, plus that's four. right, fourteen. So it did hit. Excellent. All right, and he will do one d six plus two damage. So eight points of piercing damage. Nice. All right. As for me, I need to get. Let's see, so I can see. I can't see any of them from that angle. I'm going to have to get closer. Or I could do something cool for Balinor. Y'all need haste. <laughs> you know, it's one of my I, favorite spells. You haste a monk. Shit gets oh, crazy. Dude, I hasted I hasted a barbarian. It was epic. <laughs> Especially when we had to flee the place. Like with his barbarian movement, the haste and the dash and all that, he was running like 340 feet around. <laughs> he, was, he just left all of us. Actually, I do have haste. Well, there you go. You just got to cat takes a, a turn to cast a spell. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I am going to cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast Shadow Blade. So now I will be dual wielding. But can I get into combat range? All these fucking minis want to pop up. They just won't. I don't like the new. I do not UI. like it. Yeah, I do not like it at all. Yeah, I can get in reach of him. Uh, oh, I turned. I turned it off. <laughs> yeah, activating activating blade song. So I will run in here to help out Balinor. Since this guy's got reach, no no need to get out of his face. I'm going to run up and do some smacky smacks. Yep. And Blaine Song's activated, taking my AC. Why didn't my AC change? I wouldn't doubt it if. Oh, there it is. It took a second. Okay. I'm just slow. All right. So I wouldn't doubt it if it didn't have that capability. <laughs> go with Rapier. Um, That's a hit. Right. Take your damage and okay. with a shadow blade. I'll just do it at the first level, so I've been wanting to do this little combo for a while here. Gotta create a sword solidified gloom in your hand. So it's this is like these these black insects from the yeah. nether reaches just all <laughs> form a form a second blade and I will attempt to hit it with that. So it's gonna be my spell attack. Well you're in dim light. Oh, I am in delight. So advantage. Yep. Awesome sauce. <laughs> so it's going to be plus eight to hit on the roll. Nice. All right. So advantage. Here we go. Nice. Let's see. And then just to see if we get a crit. <clears throat> All right, so the dirty 20 yep. uh, will hit, and that's 2d8 necrotic damage. Nice, 13. 13 necrotic. Uh, like I said, I can only move five feet more, and this thing's got reach anyway, so I'll stay where I am. Yep. All right, so you run up there, take your rapier, jam it into the, the wine weird, and... 
it goes deep into it. You can feel it kind of pierce through something, but it feels it's it's not quite like you're sticking it in, in the liquid, but it's it's actually got some give to it. A little viscosity to it. Yep. So you poke through there with that, then you raise your hand up in the air, and the bugs come up there and create the the shadow blade, which you jam directly into it as well, causing a uh, thirteen necrotic damage. Feeding on its innards, they're like like a blade of mosquitoes, just sucking the life out of you. That's my turn. Over here, it's got ten foot reach, so it's going to try to constrict Vespas. That's a miss. He'll come over to the skeleton man. That's a hit. Oh, he hit my uh, skeleton? Yep. For 11. All right. 11 off, 11 off Skeletor. But that's a hit one of us didn't have to take. Mm -hmm. And he is grappled. I, I didn't even know that was your friend. I was about to go beat that thing up. Okay. <laughs> Hold it five feet towards the weird. Oh, you hit him for 11 points? Oh, man, yeah. he's almost gone already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Er. I think, um, so I think I can I can move like two extra spots because of my vampiric stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, vampire have uh, 35 feet of movement. Um, so you get an extra square. One extra square? Yeah, base base movement for Dampier is thirty five as opposed to thirty. Yep. So that's seven One, two, squares. Three, four, five, yep. six, seven. You could end up right here. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll move slightly over. I guess I can't. Okay, you gonna attack one? Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to figure out. It's pretty confusing with all these bonuses on my teeth and, and shit. I don't have a bite attack on my character. Is that something I need to have added? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to put that in like the, the weapons. Yeah, you gotta do it yourself. Hold on. Okay, there's like a few, di a few different things that contribute to it though, so it's kind of... You gotta create... You study that primer I gave you? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we're going to get this through this fight before Johnny got to open his door, guys. Yeah. Well, we'll have to pick up where we left off. It's just the way it rolled. The Empiric Bite I have. And then I have uh, another damage. Thing. Bonus crit. What's your damage for your bite? For my what? For the for bite, bite, what's the damage? Um... Uh, 1d4, and then I add my says con, but I can use my deck, so I'm going to do that. Okay. It's unarmed. Vampire monk. <laughs> yeah. I, I can... Unlike Dracula, I do drink a vine. <laughs> there you go. Okay. It works. So I'm going to go up and bite him twice. Uh, this one. Which one? I didn't see. I had the my screen was oh, covered. One I'm attacking. Here. All right. Oh. Ooh, Those are both hits. Good hits. Okay. Now make the damage. I can do something else with my a uh, different thing you for have my a... damage. It's like a one D. Four plus something else that I can do. Uh, okay, I don't have the damn pure. All right, so let's see. Me, so. When you attack with this bite and the creature, uh, let's see, it isn't a construct or undead. You can empower yourself of one of the following ways. You regain hit points equal to the piercing damage dealt by the bite, or you gain a bonus to the next attack or ability check that you make. The bonus equals the piercing damage dealt by the bite. 
you can empower yourself with your bite a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus and regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. On top of that, as a monk, you also can make an unarmed strike as a bonus attack. So you can yep. actually hit him a third time. All yep. right, I'll do that. And then I have fighting style, uh, unarmed fighting, that gives me, I can, uh, my damage is equal to one. Oh, well, then you're, yeah, you shouldn't roll the d4 for your damage, then. You should be rolling, uh, 1d6. Yeah, d6, yeah. Plus, for plus my bite? modifier. But for, uh, for, for your bite, fighting. should you do a d6? Yeah, yeah, he's got the unarmed, the unarmed okay. fighting style, which means I'll change it. unarmed attacks better. And then it also counts as a magical attack for 1d something. Yep. Well, okay. it's a so, magical attack. Well, you're six level monk, which means your this counts as unarmed magical attacks attack. are treated as magical. Oh wait, did you you didn't update? Oh wait, maybe you did. I updated it. I just updated the damage. So I'll roll the damage on these other ones again. Oh, yep. that's less than before. That's fine. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Nineteen twenty-five. And then I was gonna um, also use my bonus action. Well, no, I was gonna. Are you using your bonus blows. action to make the third attack, or are you going to do flurry yeah. blows? Flurry of blows. Okay, so make two more attacks. Yep. Two more, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one of them hits for eight, and that kills it. Ah, and then I gave, He I gave drank my, it. <laughs> yeah. He drank the whole fucking wine weird. <laughs> That's amazing. And then I get like bonuses from that, or what was that? Oh, uh, you can gain hit points back, or you can get. But you haven't lost any hit points, or yeah. you get um, the the damage you did on one of the attacks. You can uh, gain a bonus to the next ability check or attack roll, and you add the the damage you rolled to that. Can I stack like that you... on the next turn or something? Yeah. Or yeah. yeah. Will, will you help me with that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, right. So let's see. Right. He did like eight points of damage. Sorry. So you get that eight. One more turn in before you got to go, man. Yep. Balnor's up. I'm Come just going to attack this one right here. Okay. Nobody's helping Skeletor down here. Uh, <laughs> that's a miss. Oh, no. Are we blessed him? Roll. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that was that's that was long, long ago. ago. Okay, yeah. I didn't know she re blesses and missed it. That's why I was checking. No, we need to undo all the blessings. Well, I'll get that second attack in, Johnny. Get a crit so you can smite the crap out of it. Oh, that's close. Not quite, but it's close. That's a hit. For twelve. All right, as I said before, it's got a little bit of give to it, but you, you, the first one, you whiff completely as it dances to the side, and then you come back with your, your back swing and catch it and hit it for 12. So it slashes into the wine, but the wine just kind of reconformulates itself into the wine weird's form. Gotcha. You know, I've got a drunken master monk, and I think he would just like to fight these things all the time. <laughs> Mr. Bohawk, you are up. Okay, so I'm going to clarify movement on Zephyr Strike. Mm -hmm. I can move six yep. to here, smack dude a couple times, and then move three more with no opportunity attack for him. Correct. Yep. With an extra 1d8 to one of the hits damage, right? Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what we're going to do. I I have the Mace of Terror in my hand, mm -hmm. my shield, and I'm going to smack that dude two times. Two, two times. Send it. <clears throat> Let's see. Mace of Terror. But the bang. Damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That was kind of weak, but that. that's fine. Yeah, I know it sucked. We're going to hit it again, though. Put your bang. Damn. 
plus five more. And uh, we get the Zephyr Strike plus D8, right? Yep. Ooh. Okay, One. and then I'm going to leap up on top of the sarcophagus out of the wine <laughs> and okay. draw my bow. All right. You jump up there. Uh, roll me a dexterity check. It doesn't have to be a save, just a check. Uh, yeah. Or athletics. Or, or acrobatics, whichever one you want to do. One of those, yeah. All right. Yep. You can climb up on there, no problem. No, I leaped up on there like an elf, like an yeah. elf would. I didn't climb up there like. Anyway, Legolas. He Legolas is that shit. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Luz, yeah. you're up. She's asleep. She's making cookies. <laughs> Take the dog out. <laughs> what is Path of the Cookie Rider? <laughs> is it a comic book? Is it a bakery no, show? It. <laughs> Should it be on Food Network? <laughs> Sometime. I tried to get her and Rich to do a cooking show. I thought that would have been hilarious. <laughs> Italian Italian cooking and, and Texas baking. <laughs> that would be great. Great contract. I'm far I'm far worse. I'm far less worried that he'll get hair in my food. <laughs> Oh, I added nine temporary hit points because when I kill something, I get uh, a monk level plus my wisdom as a temporary shield. Oh, a way of long death. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't say that it doesn't stack, so I don't know if it just replaces. Temporary or... points never stack. Yeah, they don't they never... stack. They just... Anytime okay. you get new temporary points, the old temporary points go away. Okay. So I got Lori, can you hear me? Lori, Buzz. Well, do we make this our stopping point oh. then? Oh, I guess you yeah. she just moved. Okay. I didn't know oh. she got kicked out of the stream yard. You guys got to tell me that stuff. Oh, uh, I, I wasn't. I didn't notice this. either. I was looking at my <laughs> screen, not this screen. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we got you now. Take your shots. Stop stuffing your face with cookies and play the game. <laughs> no, I was I was here the whole time and uh I just had to take the puppy outside so he didn't go on the floor. All right. Yeah. That Good. one is hurt. That one's hurt pretty bad, I think. Mm-hmm. This one's wounded. One's this one's fine. Yeah, um, this one's this one's kicking the shit out of my dead guy. <laughs> that one? Well, I'm gonna attack the one that's hurt that one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cast uh, Caltrop. We're going to do Sacred Flame. Ooh. It failed. Mm -hmm. So it Let takes it seven so. damages. Still alive? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I could bring out the weapon, but I don't think I'm going to need it, so I'm just going to shoot it. Okay. Do 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 do. Do you get two attacks? No. Oh, so then yeah. I have to do the spiritual weapon to bring it out. There we go. Yeah. You're gonna to, to do your spiritual weapon. There we go. Puppy agrees. What are you barking at? You want it there? Yes, sir. That's a good spot. Okay. Weird gelatinous wine. Let's. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Found like... it. So is Ur, is Ur drunk now? <laughs> he drank that son of a bitch. Right. <laughs> uh, GM question, real quick, Mac. Yeah. Sarcoph sarcophagus is open, and I'm standing in it. Yep. Okay. What are There's you nothing inside in? of it. Okay. There's nothing inside of it. It's just an empty sarcophagus. Ah. That's strange. Okay. That is strange. I mean, like, all the preparation was here to keep dead guy under the sun. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. I think that's my turn. Actually, I'm supposed... Yep. Sorry. All right. I, since I we're back help. to the top Wait, did of you, the uh, did, you, uh, did you attack with your spiritual weapon? Oh, oh. yeah. Dude. Yeah, yeah she, she did. Oh, okay. She it missed. made a weird plopping noise. Yeah, she missed. Oh, I missed it. 12 misses it? 
Yep. We need a 13. Uh, <laughs> right? But, a- uh, Johnny's got to open his shop up. We'll end it here yep. since we're at the top of the care of the turn order. We delete All this right. guy. Sounds good. And I will see you guys not next week, but Two the week weeks. after that. So. Okay. All right. All right. So have a good evening. Have a good right, weekend. Thanks, guys. Try to stay safe. I'll and, see uh, you guys in a couple weeks. I'm going to go sing some karaoke. All right. <laughs> Later. Bye. Peace. Peace. The Civil War was America's bloodiest conflict. Over half a million died to preserve national unity. When the war ended, Confederates like Harley Brogdon headed west, shooting games in the army and gambling. When a card game turns deadly, Harley shoots in self-defense, killing the card sharp who threw down first. Wilfred Knorr, the card sharp's wealthy father, will stop at nothing to see Harley hang. Harley flees to Cobb's Gap, an old silver mining town at the foot of the Rockies. A remarkably peaceful town, especially after dark. But the sheriff harbors a dark secret, and no one dares go into the mines anymore. Cobb's Gap is full of secrets. People speak in hushed tones of something in the mines. Something worse than their cursed sheriff. Something even the Indians fear from the deepest pits of hell. Every secret will be exposed. Bronze Star. Order your copy at bronzestarcomic.com. Tchaikovsky tape. No matter, let's get started. Here we are, Nancy Moon. The last time we left our heroine, she had just joined my esteemed colleagues at level M. We have the soldier who can outstrip Dorian, a magician with a money issues, and a vampire with a checkered past. But there are other teammates she has yet to meet. One in particular might be a little bit shocking for her. I do hope she's not allergic. Back in today, won't you? Like right now. Just like it already. Comic Books for Kids provides comic books to kids in hospitals and cancer centers across the U.S. It's a place where we can all work together to make sure every child has a comic book. 100% of all proceeds go towards the kids. It's about making a difference, and while they're in the hospital, allowing them to fly like a superhero, battle dragons, or rescue teddy bears. We are in every state in the country and now support over 160 hospitals. Every month, we add more. Visit cb4k.org.